Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you two are going? Upstairs. What for? Listen to music, play on my computer, maybe read. All right, all right, go on, but don't forget, we're down here. What's that meant to mean? Just behave yourselves, all right? We always behave ourselves, Mr. Harris. You winding me up? Taking a notice of him, come on. Beautifully handled, Thomas. Well, I just don't know what's going on with them two. What is that? Unless I'm very much mistaken, that is stench of death. Stench of death? Hmm. Very popular with young people, so I'm told. Oh, I was enjoying that. Yeah, it's my favourite track, that. I think it's called Plague and Pestilence. Fantastic lyrics. Great tune and all. Yeah. I'm going to be singing that all day. <laughs> Hey, you were just saying, Stench Your Death. Great album, very catchy. Yeah? Come on. Where are you off to now? The Abyss. Are you going where? To the Abyss. The Abyss? Yes, yeah, a shop. Oh, it's not a, a bottomless pit of emptiness then. Sell so clothes and stuff. Do you need bus fare? No, I've got my Christmas money. All right, don't be late. And don't fall in. <laughs> It's a shop in town where all the really cool kids hang out. Ah, oh, right. Hey, have you heard the new Stench of Death album? You have. Oh, it really rocks. We love it, don't we, Angie? Yeah, if only we could get tickets to see him. Stench of Death? Should our kids be listening to that? <laughs> it's not as bleak as it sounds. In fact, Blood Dogs from Hell has got quite a positive message, especially if you play it backwards and listen to it underwater. <laughs> Way up. I think you ought to see this. <laughs> Looks like they're back from the abyss. I think we all deserve a good holiday this summer. Maybe Spain or somewhere like that. We'll not be here in the summer. What do you mean? The world's gonna end March the 17th. Give over. It is, it's the gothic prophecy. Gothic chummy rot. Well, according to my diary, one of the many perks of an important job at Davenport Motors... Oh, wow. March 17th is on a... Th oh, it's on a Thursday. It's on St. Patrick's Day. That's an odd sort of a choice, don't you think, Kev? That's all you know. Thursday is named after Thor, God of Thunder, and that's what we'll get, and fire and brimstone and stuff. Great. Anyway, I'm having a bath. Oh, I want that bathroom. Tough what? <laughs> oh, it's gothic rubbish. Oh, it's teenage tripe and tree clip or something else next month. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dad. You're all really, aren't you? Yeah, well, want to have a bath, spruce myself up, taking your mum out tonight. Um, the bathroom's double, but just at the present. What do you mean? What the hell do you think you're playing at, Rosie? We're goths. This is how we're supposed to look. Is this your idea, Craig? I've not talked to her into it, if that's what you mean. This is how I want to look, and I can make my own decisions. Not in this house, you can't. Get upstairs and wash that dye out, right now. Uh, it won't wash out now. Not for ages, anyway. And we haven't got ages left. We're all gonna die in March. Stop witting in on about that. You're in trouble. And I bet you are as well, Craig, when your dad sees you. You look a right mess. The pair of you. If you think they look a mess, Dad, you wanna see our bathroom? Do you think they'll let you in school looking like that? I don't care if they do or they don't. It won't matter after March 17th because... I don't wanna wait any more of that rubbish. That going upstairs, tackle the bathroom. And when your mum comes home, she'll tackle you. I'm telling you, Rosa, she's going to blow a top. No, I really think mum's really going to go for it. She's not teacher brat. Yeah, well, she's always encouraging self-expression. Tot a hand. <sighs> Did it come off? Yeah, no longer looks like an abattoir for bats. It's quite funny, Dad. Well, for you, anyway. Shut it, you. I've got no problems with this one. Oh, thank Dad. Well, you've only got your hair to worry about. You protect me from her, won't you, Dad? Come on. We was all young ones. In fact, when I was your age. You grew a moustache. You cheeky little tight. Come here, I'll give you a moustache. Get here. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Have we got a surprise for you? Hey, troublemaker. Oh, I'm not in the mood for surprises. Hi, Mum. What have you done? Damn, yeah. I can see that. 
And what's that stuff on your face? You know what it is? You look ridiculous. Thanks, Mum. Getting that off for starters. Mum, what are you doing? You know you can me. do what you want, don't you? So... We can't! <laughs> so, so, get off her! Get off her! What do you think you're playing at? I work so hard for this family. Everything I do is for you. Everything! And this is how you repay me, you ungrateful slapper! Hey, you all right? Are you taking that off? Remove it! I'm not talking to you, you psycho! Hey, your mum said she's sorry. Rosie. Get off me! You look like some of the bin men left behind. We watching the match tonight or what? If you like. The flaming hell's that you got on your hand? Nothing. Nothing? He's got nail varnish on. Oh, when did you do that? Does it matter? Yes, it does. First you're dyeing your hair, now you're painting your nails. All right, Tommy. Why don't you just climb into one of your mum's frocks and have done with it? It's all in my body. It's just a shell. It's my soul that matters. Yeah, well, if you want to keep the two together, you better get up them stairs and scrub that off. Right, that is enough. You're not kidding. This stops right now. I'm not sitting around here watching my son become pansified. Tommy, they only do it to make lasses take more notice of them. What? By turning into one? What about Mark Bolan, eh? What's he got to do with Well, he was never without his makeup bag. And you know, Craig, he had more girlfriends than your dad's had meat pies. I bet it's that Rosie that's put you up to this. I'm out of here. Hey! You want to clean that off before you leave this house? Do you hear me? Craig! Tom, it's a bit of nail varnish for heaven's sake. Yeah, I bet that's what Ailey Cropper's mother said and all. So, career comes before kids these days, eh, Sal? Sorry, Tommy. Well, all this gothic business. Looks like you took your eye off the ball there. Meaning what? Now well, you shell out for a posh school and look what you let her go and do to herself. Hardly the straw butter image, is it? Oak Hill Foster's individuality, Tommy. They don't bang them out like a string of sausages. Yeah, well, let's hope they take the same view down at Weatherfield Eye, seeing as it's your Rosie that's kicked off all this gender bending we are, Craig. Rosie isn't responsible for the dress code at the local comprehensive. Let's hope it goes no further than air day, eh? Kevin, yeah. she's a young woman. She's trying to look good for the lads. So, are we going to do it then? Of course we are. Are you sure it's what you want? Yeah, more than anything. If you're not sure, then I'll do it to someone else. No, 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 I am. Rosie? Right, half past four, be there. You're not scared, are you, Craig? Aren't you? Not really. At least everyone's going to know we're for real. What if it goes wrong? It's safe. It's all like getting your ears done. Yeah, but it's not my ears, is it? It's my tongue. We're going to look so wicked when it's done. You could have a barbell with a dice on it, or how about a death's head? Still going to hurt. So? I feel sick. Are you not bothered? Not really. It's only a few seconds of pain, and then I've got it forever. Think about it, Craig. When we die, our piercings are going to be in our ashes, or in our graves. But all that's left of us when we've voted away. How cool is that? Yeah, cool. And when you kiss with pierced tongues right, it is mind-blowing. It's like an electric current going through you. You're right. I think they want you first. Hiya, let's have a look. It really hurt. I can't understand what you're saying. It... hell. That's all. I started feeling really weird. You what? I nearly fainted. You hicking out? No, I'm glad it's because I really wanted to. Open up then. Oh, you so lucky it looks well good. Huh? Uh, 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 it's blowing up. It, uh, it's blowing me now. Uh, oh, don't worry, you can have my eyes. Uh, uh. It's like a slug that's so full of blood it's going to burst. Oh, that's going to kill me. Yeah, it could be loads worse. There's this one girl, right, and they hit her on nerve, and she was just lay there, paralysed. She couldn't speak. Not even say, help, I can't speak. I can't speak. Yeah, you can, kind of. Look out. Don't wear anything. Oh, hi, Craig. 
Did you have a good day, Rosie? You said you were going to come home and meet me tea. Yeah, and you said you were bringing a friend home from Oak Hill. So is Weatherfield High ready for a boy in black nail varnish, Craig? Oh, don't go shy on me, Craig. Glad you had time to go shopping for yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? You never let me go. Hey, hold your horses, because as a matter of fact, I've got something here for everybody. We're having sirloin steak for our tea. Um, Craig's got to go. Pickle? What's up? Scared you'll chip your nails on a lid, you big Mary Ellen. This is getting so old now. What's up with your fish? Er, uh, nothing. You've not even touched it. Oh, don't tell me you're turning veggie on me. That's all I need. My son, the anemic crossdresser. <laughs> Tommy, stop showing your age, for heaven's sake. Eat it, it'll put hairs on your chest. Oh, but I suppose you shave them off these days, don't you? Right, will you leave it now, eh? <laughs> That's not to what I'd be getting in the playground. Is that right? Lad's been having a pop at you. No, no. Well, so much upset you, love. do not take a genius. Like you've enlightened father here. <laughs> so why are we getting the silent treatment then? There's no need to behave like a corpse as well as look like one. I tell you what, that Rosie Webster's led you right the garden path. It's time you got back to the real world, start behaving like a real man. What's up? Cat got your tongue. Stop blaming her! Oh my god, Tommy's mouth. What? Open it! Craig, open your mouth! Oh! Is it re Oh, it's gone right through his tongue! Oh, that's very big. That's dead clever. Dead cool, you plank. What have you gone and done? You've mutilated yourself! No, 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 they're all here. You're all here. pathetic! They come oh, in. Hiya. Hey, uh, consoles me eardrums. Uh, do you not know our Craig's gone gothic? Oh, good. Uh, has he taken to drinking uh, blood out of a skull? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the material? Oh, yeah, it's nice, oh, isn't it? That's gorgeous. And that's for Craig's bedroom? Yeah. Oh, well. Did he do that, did you? Took a wild guess. What did he say? He told me to take a chill pill. He's only gone and had his tongue pierced, hasn't he? <sighs> To get you not over the moon. I'm gonna find out where he's got it done. I'm gonna go round here and I'm absolutely gonna have a very civil conversation. Thank you very much. Now, Tommy, if you don't mind, Ailey's given up a Sunday to come round here and help me make curtains, so. Can we at least try and be nice? Mm? It's all yours. Thank you. Can't you watch that in your own house? No, because Martin's watching some motor racing rubbish. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. Where do you think you're going? Up to my room to slash my wrists. Craig, that's not even funny. She's laughing. Don't they look shocking? Where have you been? What, are you my keeper? No, I'm your father, not something you're trodding on street, and I deserve a bit of respect. I knocked on for Rosie, but she were out. Satisfied? Hey, Craig, show Ailey your tongue. No, I'm a freak show. Well, can you all shut up? I'm trying to watch this. Did he do it? Oh, man, you're all so oppressive. But, well, but what does a being a goth entail? Is it just wearing the black clothes and that? No, look, black nail varnish. It's not black, that's aubergine, and it's mine. I wondered what happened to that. Really? <laughs> being a goth, it's like... It's like dancing as the walls crumble around you. Right. It's seeing both beauty and destruction, both at the same time. Oh, I can't be doing with this. Oh, that's right. Bury your head in the sand, just like you did with her. Oh, yeah, here we go again. Right. I did not bury my head in the sand over our Katie. I tried to understand, compromise and accept. No. You let her do what she wanted. And she ran off with a bloke old enough to be a dad. Made a right show of herself. Of all of us. Well, maybe she were trying to recreate a father worth having. Cos maybe a real dad wouldn't want much cop in the first place. Craig, get in the car. Why? Just do it! Where are you taking him? We're going for a little drive. Mm, listen to you, Tony Soprano. And you are going to show me who's done that to you, and I'm going to have a little chat with him. Have you got that? Oh, get in the car! Don't you dare hurt him! It's hard being a goth, you know. I know. Everyone thinks you're a devil worshipping freak. I know. Of course, I keep snagging my hair and things. Oh, dear son, I would, but it's against my gothic principles. I think I'm going off being a goth. Uh, can you give that to me, please? Are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> a chocolate bar that was not bought on the premises. And? Well, you can take this chocolate bar. I didn't nick it, if that's what you're thinking. She didn't. Uh, and your silly little sister here. But and you, you can make my... silly? Fun. 
a look at you. Oh, yeah, like I'm going to do that. Come on, move it. You're only picking on me because I'm a goth. I'm just standing up for what I believe in. <sighs> Sophie! Go on, get out. Wait till my mum is about this. I said get out. Dad. What? Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> so says the lad with vegetable dye his hair, makeup on and a staple through his tongue. Don't show me up. You show me up? Why should I worry about you? I'll change. I'll stop being a goth. I'll change the way I look and take the piercing out. If you don't go hitting anyone... Greg, I am not a violent person. I'll do whatever you want, Dad. If you just... Please. Prove it. Take the piercing out now. There's no need. I've not had it in all day. It were killing me. Not like you'd notice. I've noticed your nails. And it's that rare that you open your mouth, you're such a moody get. I'm a goth. Oh, yeah, you're madie. There's no need to dress it up with a poncy name. You're so gothist. Stick your tongue out. So if I don't go in there, you'll forget about the stud in your gob and the nails and all that? When I'm at home, yeah. If that's what you want. Just to stop me from going in there and... Does it mean that much to you? Am I an embarrassment to you? Well, be honest. No, no. If I were to go in there shouting the odds, I'd have every right. Them curtains look great. Might see what Ailey can do in here. Not that he'll appreciate it. We'll have to get him some skull and crossbones wallpaper just to make up for here. <laughs> Mum, can I borrow your nail varnish remover? Yeah, it's on the shelf behind you. Do you like the curtains, love? Yeah, they're great, thanks. Uh, you're not seeing your girlfriend tonight, then? She's not my girlfriend. She's my companion in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going upstairs to listen to Cradle of Filth. Right, well, keep the noise down, love. That thing with Wendy Craig's on in a minute. <laughs> Tom, give Craig a shout. Craig! Oh, I could have done that. In death is beauty. From beauty seeps music. That music is stench. Oh, Tom, you can't do that. It's Craig's. Don't you want to know what he's into? Hmm, there's tickets for summer. Stench of death, almost live at Manchester Apollo. Exercise your demons, no flash photography. Lord, wouldn't like to be ice cream lady on that. <laughs> hey, get off, I've been waiting for them. Do you think I'm having you wandering around city centre late at night? They're mine. You're not robbing them, Dad, cos one of them's roses. Do you want to argue about it? Cos I can tell you now, it'll win. Your Dad's just worried about you, that's all. I've done everything he's said. I've taken out the piercing, no nail varnish, and now it's good enough for him. What about your breakfast, Craig? I'm going to keep this on at home from now on. I don't care what my dad says. And I might even get another piercing as well. I don't see why people think that we're strange when there's like some Roy Cropper about. You better not just say sorry. I want a free meal. For you and all. For life. <laughs> and what's left of life. Here he comes. Here, is he coming down or what? I'm meant to be knocking off in an hour. He's not feeling very well. Oh, come on, let's go to Chiffy. It's got a feeling, though, hasn't it, the bench? You can tell it's for someone who's been murdered. Do you feel it? Oh, oh yeah, it's got, like, a darker vibe. Yeah. Yeah, well, speaking of which... Can we go? If you try and do stuff without telling me and your mum again, you're dead, OK? We're all going to die, Mr Harris. Roy's after you. He's got some freebies for you to say sorry. You should think so and all. It's well dark. Go on, I can I'll catch you up. Can you see why I came down hard on you, son? Well, I knew you were about the piercing and that, but not this. My job is to keep you safe. And if you go off mutilating yourself, I don't know what kind of other daft things you're going to get up to, do I? If I know I can trust you, I can cut you a bit more slack. I'm not stupid. I never said you were. Look, this is just a tryout. Don't let me down, eh? Dad. What? Could I have a bat for a pair? Come here. <laughs> so then, Craigie. 
What's all this uh, you look all about? It's not a look. It's a way of life. Because I'm not a sheep. You're a black sheep. <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> you lot will never understand. Understand what? That living? Yeah. It's just an excuse for existence. We go play some video games now. <laughs> you think I made of money, you do, don't you? Yeah, how much do you want? How much you got? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, we're only joking, Kate. Right, Kate, there's a fiver. That's your lot. All right. Come on, laughing boy. <laughs> uh, hey. I suppose you two want to be left alone now, then. Well... Yeah, <clears throat> I can understand that. So, um, I'll go. Wafer? What kind of goth are you? It's a biscuit. You said to me yesterday, it's a lifestyle, Dad, not a fashion. Now, bourbon, that's a proper goth biscuit. Idiot. Plastic goth. Hiya, love. Come in. Uh, I'm, I'm not stopping. Are you in or out? Actually, Dad, I did come round to ask if you wanted a paper picking up. Where's mine? Uh, with David. Oh, right. Well, if you're on your own, you can stop for your dinner. Uh, no, it's OK. Oh, don't be daft. No, it's all right, Mum, honestly. Go on. You're too proud to beg, eh, aren't you? Well, I thought you'd like it if we all sat down and had dinner as a family. Depends. If I have to spend me one day rest on tiptoe, then thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, to be fair, you've been a right moody cow recently. Oi, would you say that to Rosie Webster? All I'm saying is, if you want any sympathy, Katie, it helps if you tell us what's up. But nothing. What's he done? Just leave it, Tommy. Oh, look, why don't you go and get your hair colour done again, eh? So I'm knocking and my hair's rubbish. Time of the month. Hey, cut it out. Is everything all right, love? How are you doing, Mash? <laughs> Roasties, bad luck. Oh, Mum. Oh, Mum. Go on, I'll do you some instant. We are the goths. Shut up, Dad. We are the goths. It's so embarrassing. We are, we are, we are the goths. Ooh, I hear goths. You're gonna go mad. Hey, remember what we said? Hiya, Rosie. Hiya. Rosie, did you ever see the Adams family? No. Oh, not again. I was just wondering why you'd not brought Lurch with you. Right, can we have a lift or not? Better than that, my little goth son, because me and your mother are coming with you. Aren't we, Ange? Yeah, we thought it'd be nice. Hey, and we've been rehearsing. We know all the lingo, don't we? Hey. See you later, alligator. Yeah, in a while, crocodile. See, so we're not going to show you up or out like that. The only thing I can't decide is whether to wear my suit or put my sports jacket on. Yeah. No. No, no, you cannot be serious. What, you think my sports jacket would be wrong? I'm saying... Oh, come on! No, you can't come, no way! Why not? You'd be the oldest there by a mile, and you wouldn't like it, honest. Oh, we've been looking forward to that, haven't we, Ange? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Tom. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Look, we're only kidding you, but don't oh, worry. Look, look at the faces, you look proper miserable. <laughs> yeah, but I thought that we're all part of it looking miserable. I was just want to help him out a bit. <laughs> right, we'll be in the car. All right, love. <laughs> Dad, you're not supposed to dance. Why not? I have to type dance, eh? And go on. Admit it, I am sensational. Hey, what lesson? No way. Oh, Kevin, turn it down. Mm -hmm. That means so thanks. Hey, Sal, you dancing? Uh, no, <sighs> not to that stuff, I'm not, thanks. Typical. Do you want to go to your house? Yeah, OK. Hey, do you like my new trims? Yeah, I mean, like, whatever. The one thing's putting your feet. Oh, right, lady, I'll remember that. It's well is for you next time you need shoeing. Yeah, they're great, them so fair. Tell you what, take them off. And I'll spray them with that stuff what keeps them looking new. Thank you, Dad. Um, Craig wants to know why you were upset this morning. What do you mean, was? I still am, so don't cross me. Was it something I've done? Might as well tell him before he reads it in Weatherfield Gazette. Your sister's having a baby. Oh, she's not. Oh, I'm afraid she is, so you better get used to the idea. No, I'm telling you, she's not. Because she won't be here after March the 17th. None of us will. Why? The world's gonna end. That's the best news I've had in ages. Well, I imagine people start acting a bit differently, you know, when it starts to sink in. Armageddon's the least of my worries, son. In fact, it can't come soon enough. 
End of the world, you say? Yeah. Right. I'm having a scotch egg as well as a butty. No point trying to lose weight now. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Yeah. Hiya. There's only for me I should in my school. I've only got five minutes now. Well, why don't we just bunk off and stay, man? The world's going to end a lot sooner if I get caught bunking off. Oh, go on. We'll sell some stuff on the net. Like what? I haven't got anything. Why not? Your house is full of junk. David? I'll get something for you tonight, I promise. Hi, David. Give us a chip. I'm starving. Uh, no way. Get your own. Don't be so tight. Just give him one. There you are. Hey, yeah. Uh, if his dad got my sister up the duff, does that make me and him related? <laughs> what are you on about? Have you not heard? Heard what? My mum gave it me on my 11th birthday. First present that she got me that wasn't a toy. I felt so grown up. It's disgusting. Not you. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm selling it. Right, what do you want for it? Fiver? No way. It's worth at least 20 quid. Ten. You want to shift it, don't you? I suppose. Right, let's see what else you brought. What's this? A torch, a balaclava. Who's gonna buy this? How do you know if you're in love? Love. Well, are you going out with me just to leave it out? No. Why? Do you fancy someone else? No. I like being with you and kissing you and that. So, you think you love me, then? I've not been out with anybody else long enough to know if it's different. Me neither. You do respect me, though, don't you? Yeah, of course. Major respect. My mum says you shouldn't do it with a lad unless he loves and respects you. It. Do you believe the world's going to end in six weeks? Well, yeah, I suppose. So... This will be our only chance to show how much we like each other. And even if it isn't love, I do like you a lot. So you want to do it? Don't you? I thought all lads did. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, of course. Are you serious? I want to see if it makes you feel different. See if it is love. When? Tomorrow. Give us time to think about it. To make it special. Ice hockey? Yeah. Come on, it'll be a laugh. I thought you said we'd have the place to ourselves. It'll be dead vicious. I bet loads of them break the legs and everything, it'll be a right bloodbath. It starts at three. Look, if you don't want to go, you can always sit in there and watch videos with Will and Grace. Oh, you should stay in all, Tommy. Have you not seen Legally Blonde 2? It's the one where a chihuahua's a raving homosexual. <laughs> I promise Rosie I'd, I'd do stuff, but I'll be back in plenty of time, though. Yeah, come on, Craig, we'll have a laugh. We don't have enough of them, do we? Dad. The walls of the system are crumbling. Souls are being sucked out in the process. What's there to laugh about? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Oh, come on, mate. It's just a joke. I didn't mean it just slipped out. Oh, you've got to admit it's funny. Look, I bet even your mum's laughing. Am I, eh? Yeah. She ain't cracked a smile since D-Day. Can you feel the love in the room? It's so boring around here, isn't it? I know. Is there anyone in yours? Full house. Yours? It's my mum. Sally. Sally? Oh, well, that means we can't do that thing that we said we were going to do, can we? Do you know what I mean? Because there's nowhere to go, like... We could always go to the Red Wreck, because that's where the year 10s go at dinner time to smoke and do stuff. There's this iron fence and there's a hole in it, and if you go through the hole where you're on the railway tracks, so we could just go there. By the railway line? Hmm? Well, what if a train goes past? I don't think so, Craig. Well, have you got any other suggestions? Well, if we're proper goths... Which we are. Yeah, I know, but... Well, if we're proper goths, well, we'd want to do it in the cemetery. Oh, no, it's Gemma. What? I don't want her to see me. There's so much going on in my head right now. Oh, come on, let's go. Didn't know they had funerals on Saturdays. Do now. You understand, don't you? 
why I couldn't do it there, all them people. I want to go funeral. Yeah, yeah, me too. So, um, shall we go upstairs then? In a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. We haven't got any what's it, you know, thingies. You should be in Scouts. Always be prepared. The Scouts is just an institution that messes with your head. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. So, um, what's your funeral going to be like? I want a purple coffin with, like, silver teardrops on the side. And my name and piece of glass on top. Rosie, what if the world's not going to end? I mean, we only got it off a website, and, I mean, websites can be wrong. And what does Gemma know? Cos she's still got all her S-Club 7 CDs, so she could just be talking rubbish. I don't want to die a virgin, but, Rosie, I don't think I will, cos I don't think the world is going to end. Not next month and not ever. I think I'm going to go on till I'm dead, dead or, like, 60-odd or something. And I think I will lose it, even if I have to get jigging and all folks home if it hasn't happened before. And I reckon that, well, I reckon we should just forget the whole thing because your mum could walk in at any time. Has Gemma really got a couple seven CDs? So, we're still going out? Yeah. And you don't mind us not thingy? No. Do you? You can kiss us if you want. I've got a funny taste in my mouth. Do you mind? No. No offence? I'll take it. I'd best get off. Oi! You cheeky little sod! So that's where you've been hiding. I've been on tent trucks all afternoon because of you. You said you were coming to the ice hockey. Do you know how much you paid for these tickets? Eh? Well, do you? I was just coming. Get in that house! Sorry, Dad, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? Come on, shift your backside! We haven't done anything, Dad. Rosie's not like that, neither am I. Honest, we've not. You're gonna throw your life away like your sister, are you? No! What are you? Do they? What have you done? Craig. Craig. Craig, are you all right? Craig? He's OK. He's fine. He's not fine. C come on, get up, get inside. What's the matter with you? He asked for it. Is he OK? Let's have a look at you, mate. Hey, get away from him, oh, you! Don't try and have a look at him. I am a nurse. He don't need a nurse. He needs someone to set him an example. Yeah, and what kind of example are you, eh? It's all his fault. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, you were the one that hit him. Your own son in the middle of the street. I had me Your own son. I said I had me reasons. What reasons? What reasons could there be? Well, get him inside, and I'll tell you. I'm not talking about the art here. We didn't do anything, Dad. Honest God. Hey, don't think this is all, lad, because you've still got some explaining to do. Leave him alone. Wait till I get you inside. Stop it! We didn't do anything, Mum. Honest, we we didn't do anything, did we? No. You better go, Rosie. What did he think you were doing, eh? I fell out of pocket and the next thing I know I'm on the floor. Right, let's have a look at you. I'm all right. You could be concussed. Just let him have a look at you, love. I said I'm all right. He could have killed you. He could have banged your head on the curb and you could be dead by now. Yeah, OK. Talk to me, Craig. Get off me. Your dad's right. It's all your fault, you cradle snatcher. Craig, don't make excuses for him. He'd have never have touched me if it wasn't for you two. He thinks everyone's like you, but we're not. You OK? Get lost. They reckon the world's going to end on March the 17th. Who does? Some people on this website. Have you heard this? Tom, let him finish. <sighs> this is the problem. It's all over the telly, the internet. The papers are full of no-tells. Well, the world's going to end? No. Tom, will you shut up and let him say what he's got to say? Right, go on. Well, we thought... I know it sounds daft. You got that right. But we both thought that if the world's going to end, we'll, we'd, you know, just to see what it was like. 
we didn't want to dive never having done it. So we talked about it and that's why we got the thingy, but then we decided that probably the world wasn't going to end, so we decided not to bother and to wait. And that's the best you can come up with? Well, it's true. Well, if the world was going to end, you wouldn't have needed a thing, would you? Oh, forget it. I wish the world was going to end. It is for you, lad. I can't believe this. Is this true? We didn't actually do anything. So it is true. I'm really sorry. Why didn't you tell me? I was scared. Well, after what he did to Craig, I was really scared. I'm sorry that I scared her. But, but when I saw it after everything that's happened, I, I just lost my head. But where did he get it at his age? I don't know, but I'll find out. He didn't get it. I did. Where from? It don't matter, we didn't use it. Where from? What chemist or trendy do-gooder hands these things out to 14-year-old kids? That's what I want to know. Who gave it to you, Rosie? No one. I want the name. No one gave me it! If you don't tell me, your dad will get it out of you when he gets home and then you'll be in trouble. Now, where did you get it? Your handbag. Your dad will kill you. He'd kill you if you ever knew you'd been stealing things from my bag. He said he'd never do anything like that, no matter what happened. Yeah, well, that's before I knew you'd been taking things from my handbag. I was going to put it back. I only took it to show off. How dare you? How dare you go into my bag without my permission? I'm sorry. I've a good mind to tell your dad. And it'll serve you right if I did. Oh, please don't, Mum, please. Taking things from your own mother, that is the lowest of the low. Never mind where she got it from. The fact is, she had it in the first place. Do you really expect us to believe you are going to put it back? I was. So how did it end up in our Craig's pocket? You've been leading him on, haven't you? No! Waving it in his face, daring him to do it. We thought the world was going to end. Don't you be having a go at her. Oh, she put him up to it. It's obvious. Look, I'll deal with this. You can get home. There's a word for girls like you, you know. Hey, that's enough! And he's been protecting you. Took one on the chin for you. Yeah, and why was that? Because you always let your fists do the talking and we do things differently in our house. Now, get out! Well, just stay away from my son in future. Oh, don't you worry, she will! Oh. I'm sorry, Mum. I didn't lead him on. And we never actually had, you know. We never did it. Honest. Are you going to tell my dad? How was he? He's not very happy with you. What did he say? The world was coming to an end. They thought about it, they talked about it. Rosie raided a mum's handbag, but um, they never did anything. And they never have. I believe him. Yeah. Can I talk to you? What now? I've been to see the Websters. I know. Look, uh, I know it was all Rosie's idea. And it took some guts not to just blame her when I was having a go at you, and I respect you for that. You're growing up. I can see that. And I suppose that I should be glad that if you are thinking about that... Well, then at least you've got the sense to... You, oh, you know what I'm trying to say. But you're still too young. Can you see why I lost my temper with you? You think I'm going the same way as Katie, but I'm not. And even if me and Rosie were having sex, which we're not, I wouldn't end up like her or Sarah Platt. So, no, I don't see what the big deal is. Unless you just hit me because you couldn't hit Katie. I'm sorry. Is that it?
at this rate, it'll be finished for Christmas. Look. I don't want to hear it. Oh, please, just two minutes, mate. Look, I don't want to... I don't want to talk about what happened. There's no I can say. I just want you to know that I know how you're feeling. You what? I do. When I weren't much older than you, my Auntie Iris let something slip about me dad, your granddad. Something that I didn't know, that knocked me for six. What was it? Well, after I were born, my mum were laid up for a while, so he had to cope on his own. He were up half the night with me, off to work at six, and he couldn't handle it. So he walked. Only for a few months, but I was furious. <laughs> Just for a change. <laughs> anyway, when I confronted him about it, he didn't make any excuses or all like that. That weren't his style. He just said he'd been weak. Let us down. Let me down, let me mum down. That he were ashamed. And he were. It's the only time I ever saw me a tear in his eye. What happened? Well, all the fishing trips, Saturday afternoons at Hillsborough, Sunday mornings messing about with a Zephyr. I all forgot, chucked out the window. I couldn't forgive him. He didn't expect me to. But you and him got on fine. Eventually. After a lot of wasted time. It weren't until I were up half the night with our Katie tearing my hair out that I realised that I'd give anything, anything, just for her to stop crying. Just for an extra hour's kip. And I was sharing the Lord with your mum. But most of all, even though some nights I were desperate, I always loved Katie. More than anything. Like Grandad were you? Yeah. It didn't make what he did was right, but I understood why. I understood him. Look, I'm not asking you for forgiveness. I was weak. I've let you down. But I pray to God that I don't have to wait until you've got a 14-year-old son before you understand how I could get things so wrong. Give it here or you're dead. Well, did you send him one or not? Oh, what will I have said? I love you. Right. <laughs> girls. Oh, girls. <laughs> Mum, tell us to give it here. Valentine's cards are just a way for cartels to make more money. That's what my teacher says. It don't mean how. Get your shoes on, both of you. Craig and Rose, sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Right. She ain't. She is. Craig, it's not for you to worry about. You might as well tell me. You heard your mother. I heard my sister too. She's only in the next room. Hey, listen your cheek. Why do you always keep secrets from me? We don't, love. It's just in this I'm case not a kid. Kids paint their nails black. Men don't. Have you got a uniform on under that? You know I have. You've just seen it. Look, as far as I know, you could be joining the army. I wish I was. Get away from here. Leave you two to speak about what you want. Not have to change the subject every time I walk in. Craig, things are just a bit difficult yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna get my kit bag. Best off at Gantland, stuck here where I'm not wanted. Look, I better go and have a word with Kev. Tell him I'll be late. I don't want him on me back and all. Uh, Tom, if you were Craig, then... I know, I know. Look, I'll sort it out. I'll have a word with him on the way to the coach. You never tell me anything. Whatever's wrong has got nothing to do with you. It was the other week. That was a mistake, and I made it because I can't get our Katie out of my head and what Platt's done to her. Nothing good is going to come from it, Craig, but it is being sorted. I don't know what you're on about. I'm on about something horrible, but it'll all be finished when you get back from camp. Katie's always been your favourite. She hasn't. She has.
I've got two kids and I love them both the same. It's just that you tend to act differently with little girls. When they're little, you want to pick them up and hug them. It just seems natural. With little boys, you want to play football and run around and stuff. Katie reminds me of your mother when she was her age. You don't, Craig. You take after me. Only you're not as flaming daft. I love you as much as I love our Katie. You're my son and I'm proud of you. Then why won't you tell me anything? Even Mum won't talk to me. She's more upset than I am. Why? Can't you work it out? No. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad I can't tell you, because I don't want you to know. Dad, everything will be fine when you get back. There'll be no more trouble, it'll be finished. There'll be nothing else to worry about. Ever. No, I promise. What is it? What's happened? Just c come and sit down, love. Is it me dad? Your dad... Uh... Your dad's dead. Uh, somebody's attacked him and killed him. Nobody knows. I've only just found him this morning. It wasn't Martin. What she means is that there's no reason to think that it was. We'd... Nobody knows who it was, not yet. But my dad... He's dead. Yes, love, he is. I'm so, so sorry. You're the man of the house now that your dad's gone, and I need you to be strong for me. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm trying, honestly, Anne, but I don't want to go to the corner shop or the butcher's or the paper shop. I don't want people talking to me or asking me how I am or saying how sorry they are because of my dad. I don't want any of that. All right, all right, I understand. Right, get on a bus and go into town, do the shopping there where nobody knows you. Made up a list there, see if stuff that we need, and there's 20 quid, that should be plenty. OK. Good lad. Sorry about, you know, your dad and everything. I don't want to talk about it. No? OK. Anyway, 17th of March tomorrow. So this is the day the world comes to an end. It already did. The day they killed me dad. A paper round. Me. Well, Naomi Watkins has moved on. So I just thought I'd give you first refusal. I don't want a paper round. No way! Who do you think I am? Excuse me? Don't they teach you any manners at that posh school of yours? Thanks, but I don't need the money. Lucky you. I may not be the most domesticated chap around, but I'm a dab hand at spit and polish. Comes from doing national service. Weren't you too busy charging that bag of sand with a bayonet in your hand? You can mock, but I enjoy my time in the RAF. You would have known. Oh, learning how to take orders and not think for myself. Well, you'd soon think for yourself if you were capsized in a two-man boat off the coast of Cyprus. Well, if being scared stupid is what makes a man out of you, I reckon I'm well on my way, don't you? Yeah. Get your boots. I'll give them a polish, if you like. No, I like them the way they are. Well, for school, don't teachers mind. <sighs> teachers wear trainers, they don't care. Oh. Are you sure you want to go back to school? You don't have to. Not yet. It was your idea. Anyway, I'm already behind as it is. I don't want to fail my exams on top of everything. Well, if it gets too much for you, you will come back, won't you? Yeah. I'll see you later. Gerard, son. You know that corset I got at Athletics? Yep. I don't think I can wear it. I mean, 
I tried to put it on this morning, but it was so tight. I couldn't bend down to put my boots on. You want to put your boots on first. Yeah, right. What's the closet? Bog off. Mum, it's just doing it again. Hmm. Listening to us. I can listen to whatever I want to listen to, but it's a free country. These sort of sit upstairs with headphones on listening to devil music. It's not devil music. Yeah, it is. Dad says it is. And he says you look gay. <laughs> Mum, will you tell her? Rosie, will you stop moaning? It's our house as much as yours. <sighs> I hate it here. Let's go to your house. At least you haven't got parents getting at you all the time. An annoying sister. Do you ever think before you open your mouth? I'd love to have parents getting at me. I'd love to have an annoying sister back. Craig, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, forget it, Rosie. You've been doing me heading for ages now. What do you mean? You dumped. You can't dump me. You love me. No, I don't. Not anymore. You're not even a proper goth. <laughs> <laughs> Mum! Mum! Queen's just a rosy cos he ate some guts. <laughs> You're very quiet. Not got much to talk about. Oh. Are you having a nice day? No, actually, I'm not. I'm having the worst day of my entire life. Oh, dear. What's happened? If you must know. I've been dumped. Craig's dumped me. Oh. Oh, well, that's a shame. A shame? You're just like my mum. If it happened to her, it'd be the worst thing in the world. But if it happens to me, oh, well, never mind. You're only young. What's that supposed to mean? I know I'm young. I hate being young. I can't wait to get older, leave school and leave this place. I hate it here. I hate it at home. Mum and Dad rowing. Sophie following me around yeah, like... Mum and Dad are rowing? What about? Um. well, Mum's got herself sacked and they're worried about money. They're talking about cutting me allowance. Not like I care, it's only 30 quid a month. You'd pay me more than that for a paper round, wouldn't you? Uh, well, oh, yes. Great. Well, I haven't any vacancies. But you offered me a job the other day. Yes, and you turned it down. And you were very rude to me, so I gave it to somebody else. Well, can't you sack them and give the job to me? No, I can't. Uh, why not? Oh, I can't. I can't just sack people for no reason. And helping me out isn't a good reason. Well, thanks, Rita. Thanks a lot. Do you fancy doing something after school? Yeah, OK. Oh, no, we've got a debating club. What's debating club? We debate stuff. Oh, no, your granddad's coming. Hiya, granddad. Ah, no need to look embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Well, he looks embarrassed, don't he? I remember courting. It weren't that long ago. <laughs> it was. Well, I've got a long memory, haven't I? Eh? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you do, granddad. Right, we'll bust it here. See you later. Yeah, I'd rest you up See ya. Hey, look, look out, it's more Trisha and Lurch. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Mum, we're going into town. Can I have some money for a new summer jacket? We've found this dead good shop in town. It's called Dress to Kill. She wants a leather corset. She's not wearing a leather corset, she goes to work, Kill. <laughs> a leather corset? Okay, not a leather corset. But something, I hate my clothes. Yeah, well, there's no excuse to throw all your old clothes away just because they don't fit in with your new image. Quite right, we're not made of money. You still wear your ordinary clothes sometimes, don't you, Craig? No. Sold them on eBay. If I find out that you've been selling your clothes over the internet, Rosie... Oh, come on, Mum. You'd buy it. Hey, stop winding people up, you. Right, come on, get going if you're going. Uh, better not, Dad. You and Mum have got to save every single penny so I can go to Oak Hill, remember? Oh, shut up. Oh, it's my dream to go to Oak Hill. Please, Mama, please, Papa. How else can I become a stuck-up goth in a straw hat? <laughs> a cheap, respectable summer jacket, right? Right, thanks, Dad. Pathetic. 
What's wrong with you? I hate bank holidays. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Still brings you 24 hours closer to death. Charming. We should have gone ferreting like I suggested. You may scoff, but I've had some of the best times of my life with my arm up a rabbit hole. Oh, Betty, come on in. Hello, Rob. <laughs> oh, look what Betty's brought over. Nice bit of hot pot. Oh, just a bit of something to tidy over, you know. You all right, lovey? Don't pay any attention to Missing Link. He's missing Lily Munster from over at Road. Why don't you go upstairs and listen to Stink at Corpse? Stench of death. Is it? And my dad thought the shadows were a bad influence. <laughs> all right. All right. What are you listening to? Flesh eating wolf dog. Oh, right, yeah. I queued for three hours when that came out. Oh, I wanted to get it then, but my mum wouldn't let me take the morning off. I wish we could have bought it together. Yeah, me too. I've. Well. What's your favourite track? Mine's close, mine's open wrists. Yeah, and girl in hemp crap. Yeah, therefore, that's great. Look, you don't have to if you don't want. Ah! Oh, good to see you two talking again. Look, uh, why don't you come over and have some tea, love? Um, I'm, I've got some stuff in. I don't know. Well, I, I can't promise out fancy, man. I'm, I'm not very good with frying pan, but I bet you're a dab ham, what with the domestic science and all. We don't do domestic science. Do you not? Oh, well, uh, I expect you've picked up one or two things from your mum. You'll be able to give us one or two pointers. No, sorry. I've got to go. Don't let him come over here. I thought you liked animals. Just because I don't eat them doesn't mean I want to be the best friend. Come on, say hello. Give him a little stroke. <laughs> Can't touch him. Of course you can. He's got lovely soft skin. Yeah. I reckon he likes you. Do you reckon? Right, put some of that on his back. What is it? Suntan lotion. Suntan lotion? Yeah, forecast was for sunshine all day. He's a pig. He doesn't need a tan. He's for protection. Got fair skin, it can easily get sunburned. Are you having me on? No, of course not. It's his responsible pig husbandry. What factor did you get? It's uh, SPF 30, it's five star UVA rating, 12 hour moisturisation, and hypoallergenic. Good lad. He will also smell of aloe vera and tropical jojoba oil. <laughs> Best smelling pig in Weatherfield. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yeah. Well, they haven't got the sense to find the shade when the sun comes out. Right, come on then, hold him still. Yeah. Oh, I think he likes it. <laughs> You've got the woman's touch. You're right. Oh, it's like that story with the lion with a thorn in its paw. <laughs> this little piggy will always remember the little girl that saved him from the sunshine. So do you have to do this every day? Yeah, when it's sunny. Yeah. He's got very sensitive skin. <laughs> and there are other benefits. Like what? It helps make the crackling really crispy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've taken deposits now. How much does a pound of flesh fetch? Did you sell your soul too? Why don't we just leave it and wait till it dies of old age and then you can stuff it? How many times do I have to tell you I don't stuff a mount? Is he painting his nails? Aye. At least he's painting himself. Not drawing all over a defenceless animal. I bet you'd have a right cob on if someone sprayed all over your shop window. That best not be a threat, young lady. Don't you patronise me. Hey. She's not a young lady. How would you like it if I called you an old man? Yeah. How about a fat, bald, old man? Or a fat butcher. Pigs have got feelings, you know. I thought you'd be all for a bit of slaughter. Isn't that what Satan is do? Or is it just goat's throats you like cutting? We're not Satanists. No, you know. I'll keep my eye on that pig if I were you, Keith. I said, I'll keep my eye on that pig. And them two have got other plans for it. <coughs> Ritualistic plans. Hiya. Hiya. Sure. Where are you going? Just gone. But it's not half past. So? You're not in trouble, are you? It's not some sort of detention. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean it like that. It's nice to see you, Sakeen. Oh, crikey, your bag wears a ton. Books. Lots of books. <laughs> Bless you. See ya. Come on. Come 
I'll pass it through the door angle. What are you two doing? We're making a protest. Against what? Against cruelty to animals. There's no animals in there, there's just dead meat. Yeah, well, there were animals once. Yeah, but you're not going to release a leg of lamb into the wild, are you? Wasting your time. This affects real people. This stops the flesh eaters at source. Yeah, and it's close to the bus stop for school. We're not going to school, we're going to be here all day. Well, I just hope you had a wee before you started this protest. Hey! What the heck's going on here? You can't do this. This is my shop, my business. It's a protest. Is this your idea? Well, don't pick on me. I'm only one not chained to your shop. You could be mastermind. I'm just the innocent bystander worried about what I'm going to be having for me tea. Ta-ta. We shall not, we shall not be moved. All we right, that's shall enough. Not... Clear off before you feel the back of my hand. We're not going anywhere. You're wasting your time. Any road I can get in round back. Yeah, but do you think all your customers will be happy to go around the back? Skulking through all the dead hanging flesh for their blood-soaked tea. Very eloquent. That poor school of yours does your credit. You've made your point. Now, shoo! No. Do you want me to call the police? Is that what you want? Call them. We'll call the media. This place will be swarming with reporters and journalists in minutes. Yeah, we could be on North West tonight. What's going on? It's a protest. They've chained themselves to me door. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted chops for me tea. Oh, we'll have to go to Maddox's. Mm. Maddox's? It's a bit of a night. Yeah, but they do lovely sausages. What do you know about sausages? I sell the finest sausages in Weatherfield, bar none. I say, bar none! Not today, you don't. See what you're doing? It's all past the fan. Here's that key! Get it yourself. <laughs> I'm all in favour of protest, me. Really? Oh, yes. As long as it's peaceful and doesn't cause any financial hardship. Um, what's the point in protesting if you're not going to hurt the thing you're protesting against? Yes, well, you're costing me money, aren't you? Every second that, that, that shop is shut, I'm losing custom. I think he's getting the idea. All right. Let's talk turkey. How much? You what? How much is it going to cost me to get me out of this? We don't want your money. 20 quid each. No. 30. No. 50 quid. You know what, he's right. We have made a significant point. But I'm taking his blood money. 100 quid if you can get it to change your mind. Don't even think about it. What do you think you're doing? We're protesting. You devious little madam, I thought you were going to school early to finish your homework. I can't get in my shop. I've not got time for this lady. Come on, unlock them chains. No way. She's dropped the key down the front. I've said that's enough. And I said we're going nowhere until this evil trade in animal cruelty is stopped. Anybody here? She's you, a daughter. Control her! Hiya. I mean, you know, so. See, if you don't stop this now, I'm going to call the police. I don't care about the publicity. I want you out of here. Well, look at you, Mum. Right, stand back, Fred. Right, unlock them chains or I'm going to cut them off. No way. I mean it. I'll have to cut my fingers off first. I will do it. You wouldn't cut off your own daughter's fingers. Try me. She's bluffing. You got some ice in there, Fred? Yes. Right, when I cut, you pick the fingers up, pack them in ice, and we'll get them sewn on back at the hospital. Rosie? She won't. One, two, three... No! Ah, job well done. You would have cut my fingers off. Oh, I knew you'd move. Whose idea was that, anyway? Mine. I know it was yours, Rosie. No, it was... it was mine. Oh, give over. You're not even a vegetarian. Well, I am now. Good for you, Craig. Oh, you're as daft as each other. Go on, off to school, the both of you. Is that it, then? No, that's not it. But I'm paying for that school and I want my money's worth. Besides, it gives me a bit of time to decide what punishment I'm going to give you. 
Have a nice day. We were standing up to be counted. You were sagging off school and making a right pillock of yourself. As if the eyeliner weren't bad enough. Animals can't stick up for themselves. It's the food chain, son. They eat grass, we eat them. Yeah, and what kind of a chain is that? Well, a very tasty one. Uh, two lasagna and roast potatoes and vegetables. <laughs> Thanking you. Bon appetit. Well, come on, lad, get stuck in. How many times? I'm a veggie. Oh, are you, whack? Oh, this is champion, this is. Fine. If you're not going to eat it, you're not going to waste. Ooh, I could eat a scabby horse. Although I expect that's a, another thing on your list of no-nos. And what am I going to have? Ah, veggies and potatoes will keep you nice and anemic looking. Yeah. 11 out of 10, Roy. Laminate that. Talk about a ringing endorsement, eh? Yeah. I think they'd look nice as placemats. Right. <laughs> but then I am biased. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I'll leave you two to look pale and interesting. Uh, we've got stuff to talk about. World issues and that. Well, can you take Fred Elliott off your list? I want a quiet life. So do animals on that? We're out of Fred's cage. Mission accomplished. Mission? Look, why can't you just tuck into burgers and chips and have a laugh? Ignore it. I used to be frying with punks. It's funny, isn't it? Hilarious. You won't come down off the ceiling yet. Been steering well clear. What do you reckon? She'll say grounded for a fortnight. I'll cry my eyes out to my dad. I'll knock you down to like one night. Cool. Two bacon bams. If I know it's takings, will be down at least two quid. By the time we've thinked our campaign. Orchestrated. How much did they pay for that school of yours? Uh, drop dead. We need to vary our tactics and use an element of surprise. Or could you stop here and grab a snog? Yeah, after we've picked a meat eater and guilt tripped him big time. Yeah, but are people really going to be one round by us two banging on? Duh, that's why we need a prop. They need to look death in the face. She's a landress. I've just been eating your cousin. So I didn't know. Life expectancy. Six months. Why is she on a summit? <laughs> Only pulling your trotter, mate. She's <laughs> got a rendezvous with the abattoir. You're staring death <laughs> in the face. How does that feel? That's terrible. <laughs> but you're a cutie, aren't you? Hey? <laughs> not so cute with an apple in a gob. It's like in Fred Elliott's window. <laughs> not, not this one. We don't want that, do we, eh, could I? Here is all the belly of pork for your crimbo dinner. That's all of this bit, basically. All its innards whipped out, bled, refrigerated, and hung on a dirty, bloody hook. Gas mark six for one hour, served with seasonal veg and a dollop of apple sauce. R.I.P. Beloved Porky. Rest, innocent pig. And in a so-called season of goodwill. Yeah, but it, it's not this pig, though, eh? Yep. Yeah. And loads more just like her. Just thought you should know the facts. People can be big ignorant. Don't you wish that there was some way that we could tell them? What? That we saved their lives. No, I'm more worried about telling me granddad. Red! Uh-oh. Hi, Mr. Appleyard. Did you have a good trip? I did, Rosie, thank you very much. Now then, have you looked after my pigs while I was gone? Oh. They look well enough. Nobody could have done more for them. We gave them their lives back. Eh? What do you mean? We went around appealing to everybody you'd got orders off for legs and joints and everything. And they've cancelled all their orders. You did what? Greg, is this true? Yeah. You went behind my back and this is what you did? My pigs, my hard work, all thrown away? It was all my idea, not Craig's. But I, I agree with Rosie. We felt we had to do it. We couldn't think of any other way. Well, I hope you both feel very pleased with yourselves. We do. Fine. Because the money I was getting for those pigs, I was earmarking for Christmas presents, including one for you, Craig, my lad. Oh, aye. And something for your mother. There you go. Beans on toast twice. 
For a pair of militant veggies like you two, I expect this is a victory dinner. Oh, you heard them? Yeah, I have. It's the talk of the wash house. This is where we get the lecture. We did what we thought was right. Yeah, I know you did. Aren't you going to shout and rave or Grammy or something? Well, I wasn't planning to. As a matter of fact, some of the people you went round haranguing were quite impressed. Especially with you, Rosie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, one or two of them prophesied great things and I think they're right. Thirty years from now, I can see you as a top civil servant running the country from behind the scenes. Uh, no way. We don't want to spend our lives propping up a rotten system, do we, Craig? No, no, we want to change things. Well, that's fine, as long as you change things for the better and not for the worse. Mum, don't be tolerant. I hate it when you're tolerant. It's really oppressive. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got some scraps here from Rosie's mum. What are you doing? Where's the pigs? What have you done with them? Sold them to Fred Elliott for the best price I could get. Peanuts for what I could have got for them orders. Fred Elliott? What's he going to do with them? What do you think? And by now, it'll have been done. Oh, Grandad. How could you? Don't, oh, Grandad, how could you, me? What did you expect? Did you think I'd keep them ruddy pigs as pets? It cost me enough to keep Craig and me fed for a week. Never mind feeding a couple of hungry pigs. Hiya. Hi. Morning. Ugh, gross. Man, it's dead pig sensation. Do you know what the most important thing in life is? Why? Theme of the day. Being able to do what you like. Wrong. The most important thing in life is self-respect. And what do I mean by that? I mean you should never let anybody persuade you to do anything your conscience isn't happy with. Because if you do, you'll never be able to deal with that person in an honest and direct way ever again. I suppose you do that over here because you don't want your mother to see. Is that it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. See you later, Grandad. And this, above all, to thine own self be true. Which I haven't been. Tell me when this bit's finished. OK, you can look. <gasps> Pig! <laughs> the chip on her? Yeah, I'll go and get him in a minute. Get me on, thanks. You're not going out. Oh, and you're going to stop me, are you? Freak shot. Yeah, I am. Mum put me in charge. Oh, shut up and snug your bye, friend. You don't dress up like a little tart to get chips. So have you got planned? Forget it. So did my mum say I couldn't go out? She didn't have to. You know as well as I do. So she didn't say it then, did she? So I guess we'll never know then, will we? Sophie, this isn't funny. Get that muck off your face. I'm going to read a book or something. What Disney film are you living in? Sophie, I forbid you from going out that door. And what if Rosie and Craig hadn't found you, eh? Where have you been? Over the chipper. Liar. That's the first place we looked. Shut up, you snitch. Call in then. Yeah, and thank God they did. Have you got any idea how out of our minds we've been? Oh. Where were you? Kevin? What about them? They were watching a real, like, gory horror film. I'm 15. You're just a kid. Exactly. I should be exposed to that sort of stuff, should I? Eh? See, Nicolette said that could count as abuse. I don't care what Nicolette says. Mum, can I go for Craig's? Just for an hour or so. Yeah, of course you can, and thanks, both of you. Craig, I'm going to miss you. I wish I could come. Yeah, me and all. I play our music really loud and we could lie in the grass looking at the stars. We was stench echoing up all the hills around us. Until he started moaning about the cold. Do you want him to sit on the red wreck without a blanket? I don't care how cold I got, if I was with you. I don't care if I froze to death. But there is something better we could do. Something warmer. Oh, yeah. The old cool ball's coming up. Do you want to come? Oh, Kill's a bit stuck up. Well, my mate's all right. 
and there's live bands and everything. It goes on dead late, like a proper gig. It's well ace. Yeah, OK. Great. Only thing is, it's black tie. Black? We have asked the right people then, haven't we? <laughs> Anyone would think this was a remote island, the prices you charge. Please feel free to take your custom elsewhere. You're handy, if nothing else. You're too kind. He's ethical and all. I mean, not everyone's got a car to get to supermarkets, have they? And they buy up sports fields and playing fields and turn them into massive car parks so they can make more and more profit. The green belt, right? Get ready to wave it tatty by. Thank you. Fair do so. My mum says you're astronomical. Uh. And what does she say when she washes your pillowcases? What? She means your hair dye. Oh, well, I think they go a bit purple after a while. I think she bleaches them. Very ethical. And has your granddad mastered the art of the washing machine? Or does Audrey do it all for him now? Now that they're at it like rabbits, you mean? <laughs> Charming. <laughs> I'll tell when you were asking. No need. Just pass in the time of day. All right. <laughs> right. What can I get you? Don't know yet. Well, you're hot up. Just totally skin. Christmas plus my birthday. Double whammy. Mm. Well, you seem like a young man in need of game for ethical employment. What time did you finish school? I wouldn't be seen at dead, it? Why not? It's black, innit? Uh, just about. You'd look all right in our sofa. It's just a school dance. It doesn't really matter what you're wearing. She wants to put a rose in hair. I'm talking infinity of <laughs> rose. Eight, but if you get there before nine, you get laughed at. OK, I'll take these, please, love. It's not going to be any little kids there or anything. No, I own above. Um, I'm in a bit of a hurry. That's 3.50. And, and what music is it? I don't know. I'll find out. Right, well, if it's rubbish, I'm just going to take some downloads. 3.50. <laughs> put it in the till. All right! Hey, don't get shirty with me, young man. You're not paid to sit here and gossip, you know. Yeah, well, it might be for all you know. And since when did you become Little Miss Insolent? Do you want me to have a word with your mother? No, sorry. Right, 350. Put it in the till. Ooh. 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 Oh, I don't suppose I could interest you in a bacon sandwich. Oh, there's some black pudding in the fridge. That's got no meat in it. Well, it's blood, same difference. Ah, well, you dress like Dracula. I thought it might suit you. Oh, do you ever give it a rest? <laughs> Where's order this morning, anyway? Well, we don't live with each other. You had a row? Nope. You saw her last night, didn't you? So? Did you go back to hers? Oh, we had a drink and then we both went home. Relationships aren't all about one thing, you know. Especially when you're in the afternoon of your life. The evening of your life. Well, I'm not there yet. You're not far off. Well, when you get to my age, you realise that the day has all sorts of hidden moments you previously weren't aware of. Now, did you buy Summit for that bowl tonight? Yep. Well, what time do I expect you back? Well, it's over. Are you nearly ready, Rosie? Imogen will be here any minute. Coming! Who's Imogen? Our oh, friend from school. Her and her mates are picking up Craig and Rosie in a stretch limo. Limo? Our first ball, Kevin, just think. <laughs> it was a disco in our day. We have to wait on a corner for a bus. Yeah, this is a real step up the ladder for her. Oh, come on, Rosie, it's nearly gone six o'clock. I'm coming! I hope she's not going to look out of place in that new dress. <laughs> Cost enough, didn't it? Yeah, well, it's not about the money, Kevin, it's about the savoir faire. I can't get that over at counter. There you are! What on earth have you done? I've just improved it a bit. Improved it? I couldn't go in like it was. It was too old-fashioned. Well, I wish you'd tell me that before I spent all that money on it. What's that there? Mum, look what you've done now. What? You've torn it! Torn it? It's ripped to shreds already. It's ruined! I don't think anyone's gonna notice that. Nobody will notice any of it, cos you're going nowhere dressed like that, young lady. Why can't I go? Looking like that. What are the teachers going to think about me and Kevin, eh? It's nothing to do with you. You better go through, Craig. Oh, not you and all, Craig. I thought you'd have a bit more sense. They're not letting me go. What? Well, I'm surprised Keith's let you out the house like that. Has he seen that? Well, he's not really bothered what I look like. Oh, please, Mum. You're making a mockery of the school. And if I let you go, the staff are going to think I'm condoning that. 
that'll be Imogen. I'm going to look so stupid. Well, you should have thought about that before, shouldn't you? Is Rosie ready? That goes through. Wow. You look sensational. Yeah? Turn around. Chandler's going to die when he sees this. Who? Mr Chandler, head of art, is organised tonight. He's always saying we're not bold enough. I just love this. And his wife, you can bet she'll be in something outrageous. And is this Craig? Yeah. I heard a lot about you. You all right? Chill. Oliver's wearing his Homer Simpson bow tie and thinks he's the king of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till he sees you two. Anyway, should we go? Go on, Rosie. You don't want to keep Imogen waiting. Right, well, I'll just go and get my bag. <laughs> Great house. <laughs> it feels really lived in. I can see where Rosie gets her ideas from. So what does your dad do for a living then? Imogen? Right, um, this is where we go out. <laughs> see you, Mum. All right. Bye. Bye. See you. See you now. Be good. Well, don't you think it sounds like a good idea? Yeah. You don't sound convinced. No, I've, um... I've just had a bad day. Craig, what is it? No, it's, um, it's nothing. Tell me. Um, I just can't stop thinking about me, Mum. Sorry, um... No, uh, they don't. God has got a majesty round. Um, they'll be going out in a bit. So when they come over later, they'll be gone for ages. But what about the pizza? I don't think I can face people today. Hi, love. We couldn't get children of the corn, so we've got children of a lesser god instead. And a vegetarian pizza. Mum. What is it? You're going to hate me. Why? What's happened? Put these in the oven. Well, Imogen's called and she's invited me over to her place for dinner. What, really? Over in the... Uh... the Edge. I'm not sure if I fancy it. Oh, Rosie, you've got to go. What did you say? Well, I said I'd ask for your permission and then bring her back, but... Well, I'll get your dad to run you over there, Kevin. No, there's another girl going from down the road and she said I can get a lift from her. Are you sure you don't mind? I mean, you've gone to all the six bends. No, of course I don't mind. And when you're ready to come home, just give us a tinkle and your dad will pick you up. Oh, but he wanted a beer tonight. She can get a taxi. All right, well, pick a card up from streetcars on your way out. Oh, thanks, Mum. So why didn't you say you are coming over here? She doesn't understand that. Sometimes we need to be alone. She won't be able to get her head round us not being there with them. Eating cheap pizza and have my dad not understanding what's going on in the telly. And my mum having to explain. And ask Sophie, thinking it's hilarious, to add bits of pepperoni into my pillow. They do my head in, for what of them. I had this dream last night, right? We were back at the school dance and they brought all this boar's head on a plate. <laughs> Which boar? Miss Bert, the drama teacher. <laughs> she is so boring. And there was blood coming off it. The head was still alive. It was like semi squealing. You have mad dreams. And you were there. You were grabbing the head and trying to put it back on the boar's body. Boar's like pigs, yeah? Yeah. Only as you were doing it, you kicked out with one of your teachers and they died. And then the Rosas came and took you away. I don't want to lose you, Rosie. Oh, as if that's going to happen. Unless they introduce the law where it's illegal to dye your hair black. <laughs> if you disappeared, I don't know what I'd do. Disappear? I'm not going to Yeah, but everyone I love, that's what happens. Everyone you... Does that mean Wait, you... No, no, uh, it, it, it's coming out wrong. It was just a dream. It, it, it's messing with my head. I don't mind if you do. No. I'd quite like it. All right. I'll put dead babies on. Actually, this sound system isn't as good as the one in my room. Shall we, um, go up? I mean, we don't have to, no. right, if you... You're all right. It's boring down here anyway. Step mainstream.
being a goth, you've got to embrace everything that's dark in the world. I know. It really messes with your head, doesn't it? You've got to think dark things and do dark stuff. Which is your favourite Murder Dolls track? Love at First Bright or Slip My Wrists? Probably Dressed to Depress. He was such a freak. That's why I love you. Good dear. Oh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Cos I love you. They have said it, go on, laugh your head off. No. There's nothing wrong with it. But this isn't dark. I mean, what we've got is not depressing or full of dooms. How can it be goth? Well, we don't have to be goth 24-7. But there's nothing dark about the way I feel about you. So what's all that about? I think it's because of Adam and Eve. They weren't goths. And they were the first people to, like, do it and that. Goth clutch came later. I don't want to cause you pain or drink your blood and get all vampire on you. I just want to... Well? No, you'd laugh if I said it. Well, don't say it then. Do it. Yeah, I was thinking, why don't you stay the night? I mean, your mum thinks you're imaging, she's not going to know any different, is she? I don't want tonight to end. Hello? Hi, Mum. Oh, hello, love. Are you having a nice time? Hey, what did you want to eat? Grilled halloumi cheese and roast vegetables. It was gorgeous. Have you rung for a taxi? Well, this is it really. I was wondering if I could stop here the night. There's a spare bedroom with its own ensuite bathroom. Everything. And I can borrow a nighting stuff from Imogen. I can put her mum on if you want. I said she might be a bit funny about it. You can get ahead around that. Well, she's just gone down to the field to check if the ponies are okay. Oh, well, there's, there's no need to. What's going on? Rosie wants to stay over at Imogen's. Of course you can stay, love, as long as you're not putting anybody out. Oh, thanks, Mum. I won't be back too late. I'll give you a ring in the morning. All right, love, there's no rush. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye, Mum. And Mum's mucking out the ponies, if you please. Ooh, and does she talk like that? Don't be horrible, <laughs> Kevin. They've been dead nice to Rosie. It were ice cold. He must be in bed. Oh, good. Because I don't want him seeing me tiptoeing about like some naughty schoolgirl. <laughs> Night, lad. Yeah. Night. here without anyone seeing me. And then where do I go? They won't expect me back till at least ten. Well, so I don't go, just stop here with me. Did you hear that? He's awake. I can't go around the front, my dad might see me. 
Rosie. What's going on? What's she doing here? Did she... Did she stay the night? Did she? Right, you, off home. And you, sit down. Time I got going as well. Why is she going out the back door? I'll, I'll see you later, Keith. I said, sit down. Talk back to me again in front of Mrs. Roberts. I don't see what the big deal is. You what? Well, it doesn't seem very fair. You could have your girlfriend stop the night, but I can't. That's completely different, and you know it. Why? Because. Because it is. Now, get your feet off that table. Do as I say, not as I do, is that it? You're 15! So? I expect you to show me, to show this house some respect. Grandad. We've been seeing each other 18 months. We love each other and we're totally into each other. I'm not disputing that. You waited until both of us were ready. I don't care. I don't want this happening under this roof, under my nose, and not with a lass from across the street. So that's why you're angry, because she lives across the street. It's asking for trouble. So I should take up with someone who lives miles away, is that it? Well, your mates at school, do they have their girlfriends stop the night? Do their parents not mind? You're not my parent. Well, I'm responsible for your well-being. Well, I can look after myself. Well, suppose she gets into trouble. We're not stupid. We took precautions. Yeah, but I know what kids are like. If you get into trouble, if something happens to you, the book stops with me. I've not taken up with a gang of druggies, Grandad. We're in love. What me and Rosie feel for each other is just as valid as anything you and Audrey have got going. I'm not saying it's not. I just... Oh, there's no use talking to you, so why bother? Well, now, lad. Hiya. You look nice. So go on, how was it? Oh, it was OK. OK? A sleepover at Imogen Dooley's house, and all you can say it was okay. Did they like you? I think so. Do you think they'll get invited back? I don't know. Do not want to send me chips? No, no thanks. No. I suppose chips are a bit of a come down after a night at Dooley Manor. So go on now. What did you all get up to? We just watched TV. And they got a plasma screen. Mum. Not I'm bound to be curious. We just sat round and talked. What do you talk about? Any juicy gossip? No. Do you have a drink? No. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, I was 15 once. I know the temptations of teenager faces. Hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, do you know, Rosie and I were just having a chat about what a great night you that to me. Emma Jen? Hi. Oh, no, it was really good. Just... Go along with everything I say and I'll explain later. No, it was a, it was a right laugh. <laughs> Don't know why I had to snatch the phone off me like that. Well, I thought you might say something embarrassing. Uh, like what? Well, you put a funny voice in when you talk to Imogen. Uh, you mean I speak properly and politely? It makes me cringe. Anyway, she was just ringing to say she couldn't go carol singing. A gang of us are going tonight to raise money for the school. Just being friendly, that's all. Showing an interest. Shan't bother in future. Rosie! Rosie! I've been ringing you all morning. Switch my phone off. Are you avoiding me? Yes. I need time to think. About us? Yeah. I see. Besides, if my mum was there answered, I'd go all weird and she'd rumble us. The minute I saw her today, I thought she knows. How would she know? Because she's my mum, she can read minds. I think we should just be honest about everything. 
Are you mad? Well, we've done nothing to be ashamed of. I don't want Mum and Dad to know. They'd go absolutely ballistic. Why do you care what people think? I care about what my Mum and Dad will think. I care about what they'll do to me. I won't let them do anything to you. I don't want them to know, Craig. Can't you just accept that? Come here. I don't. Somebody might see us. Do you wish it hadn't happened? This morning or last night? Last night. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it was with you. Do you want it to happen again? I'm just scared of my mum finding out. Can't you understand that? Yeah. I've got to go. I'm meeting Rebecca and Jane. Audrey's threatened to tell Rosie's mum and dad about you too. Did you know that? I'm sorry about what happened this morning. Oh. I shouldn't have embarrassed you like that in front of Audrey. I was out of order. I won't do anything like that again. Good. Glad to hear it. That's not to say we're going to stop seeing each other. Because we're not. No way. But from now on, we'll be more careful. Fair enough. I'll get the tea. Through to the back, my love. I look for my purse. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Why? Well, um, thought we could have a little chat. Here we go. Actually, I'm rather disappointed in you, Rosa. Thought you were a nice, sensible girl. How wrong can you be? She still hear you. Oh dear. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't be the only ones. Remember, I know what you and Craig have been up to. So I could shout it to the whole world. But I certainly think that your mum and dad should be told. Don't you? Who asked you to stick your nose in? Don't take that tone with me, Leda. I am making it my business because I think they've got a right to know. What right? Because they're your parents, Rosa. So what? Oh, so what? Oh, just listen, right? Now you stop sleeping with Craig or I will tell them. They'll go mad. They'll kill me. You'll have blood on your hands. Oh, now that just makes you sound like a silly little girl, which you are, actually. I'm not. I love Craig and he loves me. Oh, Rosie, this is for your own good. Somebody's got to put an end to this. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Oh, Rosie, you don't know you're born, my love. You're too young to be having sex. Like I'm going to listen to you. Yes, well, I know what I'm saying. It's the girls, not the fellas. It's the girls that get caught when things go badly. They're the ones that are left holding the baby. Sarah was different. Uh, no, I'm not talking about Sarah. I'm talking about me. You know, I was a single parent before I was 16 as well. Cos you're a stupid slapper doesn't mean I'm going to be one. What? What 
Party juice. Hello? What's your problem? Um, Carol singing. What are you doing here? Uh, seeing Andre. Sally, there's... something I can do for you? Yeah, a favour. Could you fit me in later? Cos one of the mums from Oak Hills invited me over for mince pies and mulled wine. Oh, right, yeah. Wash and finish. Uh, what about five o'clock, all right? Yeah, brilliant. I hope she hasn't railroaded you. It is a worthy <laughs> cause. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm all for giving folks a fighting chance. <laughs> As uh, Rosie now knows. Thanks. Love you. Shut your face. What have you got? I've told you. Get off. That's my best frog. Get it up. Up your face, lips again. Girls, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? She's trying to strip search me, you fascist. Mentalist. Look at the state of her. I'm just testing, that's all. You said that last time and red straps. Hey, they're my best tights, then. <laughs> Tell me you haven't been outside. I haven't got them right yet. You won't ever get them right. They had a blossom, I would. <sighs> what is a blossom when it's a tome? 18 99 so obviously I won't get one. Yeah, well, what is it? A first in first bras. Three levels of padding from discreet. You know, for school and that. To knock out, to knock out. Like for hanging around the office drinking cider. It's none of her business. Who is she? She's a witness. That's who she is. To us. Well, she's doing it with our best interests. Whose side are you on? She's seen what happened with Sarah. Sarah Platt. She's comparing us to Sarah Platt. It's me she's thinking of. If Sarah Platt had two brain cells in her head, they'd rub together and start a fire. The cheek of it comparing us to her. I'm not having it. Don't, don't go much around. Don't make it worse. There's more to it. She had a kid herself when she was just 16. Ha! Well, I suppose in those days... So it's all right for her to be the town bike, but we show a bit of intelligence and maturity. Just because they weren't capable, we're not either. Just my head in. She's forcing us to lie. Well, let's lie then. Well, they want us to be hypocrites. We'll be hypocrites. It doesn't change the way we feel about each other. Dear Father Christmas, please tell the elves to stop work on the jeans, DVDs, trainers asked for. All I want for Christmas is a blossom. <laughs> please do. Hey! Did you throw this? My eyes sweat. A blossom bosom would make my life complete. Oh, not again. <laughs> so if you get it into your head, you're not walking around like a tarp before your time. <laughs> hey, do you want to rephrase it? Well, back me up on this, Kevin. No cleavage, fake or otherwise. No thongs, no high heel shoes. Just enjoy your childhood while you can. Here, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, it's too easily gone, you'll know. How do you mean? Well, you've seen it, haven't you? Girls are talking at school, going drinking and smoking, going to nightclubs before they're even 16. Oh, yeah, you see them, yeah. Yeah, they'll look back and they'll regret it. leave you alone for a moment, can I? I'd better go. I love you. Yeah, me too. I'll call you later. I'm sorry, Craig. I'm... I didn't know. Hey, you all right, Rosie? Hey? We'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> Craig went to the prison today. I don't know what I'd do without you, Mum. I'm so lucky to have you. Nah, I'm a lucky one. So's Craig. At least he's got you, eh? Do you really mean that? 
Yeah, of course I do. Hmm? <laughs> What's this for? Thanks for understanding, Dad. Hmm? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Have a look. Do you want an honest answer or shall I lie? Why? You look fantastic. Thanks. Put a coat on before you go out. Hi, right, that's Sophie sorting out. Did you cheer up? Oh, not the check. Well, all night with Auntie Rita, not my idea of New Year's Eve fun. Yeah, well, we can't be happy all the time, can we? Oh, a lesson we must all learn. You're not happy. Well, of course I'm happy. Good, me too. Rosie? I'm delirious. Right, well, three out of four ain't bad, is it? Right, we're going to the Rovers and we'll be back before half past twelve, so I want you in bed before one, all right? OK. Oh, no whinging, no pleading. No, we can have another half an hour. Oh, go on, twenty minutes. Please, 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 ten minutes. You're so childish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Shall I wait up for you? Just behave yourself. I will, if you will. That'll be for me. New Year. Does your mother know you're here? Yeah. Look what I've got. Is that the tour DVD? Yep, came this morning. Right, I'm off. Don't burn the house down while I'm away. And no alcohol. See in 2006. What? I mean it. Behave yourselves. You look amazing. Three hours? All we want was two veggie specials and a portion of coleslaw. Yes, I know what day it is. Right, we'll be as quick as you can then, yeah? Bye. Pizza's gonna be three hours. Oh, that's all right, I'm not hungry. Do you want a drink? I've got some vodka. No, I'm okay. It is good, isn't it? Amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine what it must be like performing in front of thousands of people? It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. All of them there just for you. Because they love you. Every one of them loves you like mad. It must be like being a god. Being worshipped. That's how I feel about you. I worship you. Really? Yeah. Do me a favour. What? And clip me. and I shall go and find us a stranger. No. <laughs> Will you stop panicking? It'll only be the pizza. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, and I'm starving. Right, you stay there. I'll be back in a minute. Rosie gone already? What's going on? Nothing. Why aren't you dressed? Where's Keith? You can't just push away in here. Where's my daughter? Where's Rosie? You filthy little... Rosie! Sorry. We have nothing to be ashamed of. I asked you before, where's Keith? He's at Audrey's. Get out. It's my bedroom. Are you arguing with me? 
I find my daughter naked in your bed, and you are arguing with me. We have nothing to be sorry for. I said, get out! Get dressed, Rosie. Go on! Get in the house! Uh, two veggie specials with cold I'm really sorry! You don't have to apologise for anything. We've done nothing wrong. We love You're each other. 15 years We love old. each other. Happy New Year! Really What's going on? Inside. I said Happy New Year! Go home before I tell him what you've been up to. Someone tell me what's been going on. I said go home. These need paying for. So. Happy New Year! Inside. Hey, Rosie, what's the matter? I caught them in bed together. Is this true? I'm sorry. I'll kill him. What's he done to you? He hasn't done anything. We love each other. You're 15! That's what I told her. I thought you was clever. I thought you had head on those shoulders. What do you think you're playing at, eh? It's a precaution. Oh, yeah, like lying to us. Get upstairs. You know what? I can't bear to look at you. I'm sorry. Oh, you <laughs> will be, my girl. You will be. Oh. Kevin! Don't try and stop myself. What's the point? Look, he's not getting away with this. I'm going to sort him out. What, you mean you're going to thump him? That's right. And where's that going to get us? I don't know about you, but it'll make me feel a lot better. It won't change anything. I'm not letting this go, Sal. I know you're not. And we can tackle Craig when he gets back in the morning. Oh, come here. It's up to our bed. Year ago, that was taken. Twelve months, look at her. A kid. She's still a kid. You should have talked to her. When? I don't know, ages ago. She's a 15-year-old with a boyfriend. You're not blaming me for this, Kevin. I thought she had more sense. Turn that thing up before a flaming bin it. Get upstairs. Let me have my phone five minutes. Upstairs! You were just as capable of talking to her as me. Come on, text. You. How dare you. Get away! Stay away! Happy New. Rosie, come on, shift. He's here. Let's see what that boyfriend of yours has got to say in front of his granddad, eh? I'm not coming. Oh, you are. I don't want to. This isn't about what you want. We've seen where that gets us. Now, come on, out. Do you know, I haven't had breakfast in bed since... Oh, I can't remember when. Hey! Oh, now what? Oh, Happy New Year. Is it? Let's see if you still think so when we're finished talking, eh? Text me. They took my phone Sit off there, me. Rosie. Right, you gonna tell him why we're here? That'd be good if someone did. Let me make us all someone to drink, eh? Come on. Let's hear it. Rosie was here last night. Not here. Upstairs with him. Oh, heck. Do you know how old my daughter is? Look, hang about. I, I don't think shouting's what's needed. Shouting? It's lucky he's not had a good hiding of me yet. Now, Kevin, come on. Let's all sit down. Fifteen years old. She was fourteen last week. Well, I'll be sure to have a word with him. You what? Have a word. I'd... Well, go on, then. I want to hear it. Fifteen years old. What sort of a future do you think he's got in mind for her, setting out to ruin her life? She's got exams next year. I love Rosie. Shut it, you! I'll not have raised voices. Look, it may be how you do things, but it's not how I do it. Oh, how do you do things, Emmy? Spill it out for me. Cos I want to hear how you're going to put a stop to what's going on right now. When I went out last night, I asked you to be responsible. We were. For God's sake. Well, you know what I mean. I was putting you in a position of trust. Yeah, well, what I'm interested in is what happens now. How are you going to make sure he stays away from our daughter, eh? You can't do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. I love him. Don't be ridiculous. I do. What do you think you know about love, eh? Oh, more than you. How dare you speak to me like that? We wouldn't lie and cheat. All right, that's enough. And split up and go off with other people. You shut your mouth. Look, 
Maybe if we dealt with the two of them separately. I mean, if you took Rosie back home... And what's this got to do with you, eh? No, I'm just trying to help. Oh, we'll do it the Platts way, shall we? And this time next year, I'll be a grandmother. Yeah, well, there's no need for that, thank you. You're only here because you're being nosy. That's it, no. I'll not have you talk to Audrey like that. I'm not taking advice from a family that had a kid at 12. 13, actually. Which is why Audrey knows what she's talking about. In fact, she's been a great help to me in trying to deal with this. What do you mean by that? Well, um... Did you know about this before? What, this has happened before? Yeah. And he didn't go completely off his head. Not like you, treating us like kids. You knew what was going on. Yeah, you still give him the keys to your house for the night. Well, Craig knew the rules. Rules? You stupid man, you should have been here. I'm sorry, that's enough. Get out, go on. You lay one more finger on my daughter. I'll not have threats in this house. No, you'll have more than threats, mate. If I see you near that house or Rosie again, be the last thing you do, all right? We'll be all right, OK? I love you. Out. Thanks. For what? Sticking up for me. Sticking up for you? Yeah. You knocked my head off as a psycho. They just found out that you can't be trusted with their daughter and that you take no heed at all of me. That's not true. How did you think they'd react, eh? Invite you over to tea to celebrate your having your way with her? We're not kids. You are. Stupid kids! I just don't get it, dear. You're not to leave this house. Get lost. Get up to your room, now! No. Do as you're told. You're not going to keep us apart. You just watch me. Don't you dare walk out that door! See ya. You can't stop us from seeing each other. Oh, can't we? But we've done nothing wrong. And you saying that is exactly why you're not allowed to see Craig anymore. You don't understand. We don't have to. You do. And what you do have to understand is you and Craig are history. You're just 15 years of age. Next year, Rosie, you've got exams that are going to set you up for the rest of your life. Well, I'll work hard if I'm happy, won't I? This is not a discussion. We are telling you how it's going to be. Will you tell him to shove off, staring at the bedroom window? He's giving me the creeps. Creep! Right! Come on! Hey, Dad, don't hate him! Upstairs, right now! Let me go! I want to see him! I want Craig! You are not leaving this house, do you hear me? Not without me or your dad. We're watching you day and night from now on. I hate you! Fine. But get upstairs and hate me from there! <laughs> Happy New Year! Let me know. Well, uh, your guess is as good as mine, Bridie Love. Something's going on. There's nothing for you to worry about. Glad you had a nice time, love. I totally love it. Happy New Year, Rosie! You total cow! Hey, where do you think you're going? To see Craig. Oh, no, you're not. You, back upstairs. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Oh, drop dead, Sophie. Charming! Stop stirring it, you, upstairs. What, Dad? Are you deaf? You can't just lock me up forever. You're a kid. You live by our rules. Right, hi. My name's Sophie and I sleep next to you. Does anyone please want to tell me what's going on? Sophie, go and put the kettle on for us right now. Mm. I'm pretty invisible in this house, Meg. How long's the silent treatment going to go on for? Till you need another sub, I suppose. Thankless task this has turned out to be. I'm not a kid. The law of the land says you are. The law of the land's got me mam locked up for something she never did. Look, it, if I seemed a bit heavy-handed yesterday... You were totally out of order. You meant to be keeping an army, not running my flaming life. I'm in loco parentis. I've got to think what your mum would say. Well, and your dad. My dad would probably debt me. But he's dead. And I'm very much alive, thanks. I knew no good had come of it. 
It was all fine until people started sticking their nose in. I did try to warn you. Yeah, well, her dad's lost it anyway. I mean, what's he gonna do? Watch the 24-7 till the 16th birthday. Look, just steer clear of the lass and her dad. I don't tell you how to run your relationship. <laughs> well, I'm a grown man. Yeah, well, so am I. So just get off my case. You can't stop us seeing each other. Oh, you got a death wish or something? Please, Dad. Dad! Get back in the house or God help me, I will batter the pair of you. Just give us five minutes, will you? Take your filthy hands off my daughter. Get in. We'll be all right. We can't keep you locked up forever. And if I've got to tell you again, I will beat the living daylights out of you. And if they bang me up, you're worth it. Get in. I hate you. Well, that's the price I'm happy to pay. I mean, really hate you. And that's another week you're grounded. But we love each other. Look, I'm trying to work here. If you're hungry, get a bag of crisp. You and Mum have so lost the plot. And that's another week you're grounded. It's going to be Easter at this rate by the time you surface again. Why? What's she done? Nothing for you to worry about. Go and play in front of the lorry, Sophie. Not funny. Nobody tells me anything. Nobody listens to what I am going through. You think you have a hard life? Try being in my shoes. All right. So where did you slope off to earlier? Surprised you even noticed. You do not leave this house. You understand? You will make things worse for Craig. And he's already in enough trouble. I hate this house! There you go, Sophie. There's your break money. So we are what you're sulking for. I'm not sulking. Well, put your face straight then. But think about it, Mum. I'll be the only girl in my class without a bra. Oh, Sophie, not that again. Go on, off to school. Go on. Take care, mind how you go. Right. Now we've got to sort you out till school starts. How do you mean sort me out? Well, I mean, your dad and I are not going to be in the house, but you are still grounded. Mum, that is so unreasonable. Well, we don't think so, not after what you've been up to. I'm sick of being stuck in this house. It's like being in prison. Well, it's your own fault. And when me and your dad are sure we can trust it, it'll change, so it's up to you. So I'll be back in my dinner breaks and in my tea breaks, too. And I'll be coming across from the garage every half an hour or so, just to check it all right. See if I'm still locked up, you mean? Well, like your mum said, it's your fault. Me. You all right? No, I'm missing you like mad. Me too. Craig, be careful. I'm all right. Can you stand it, Rosie? Can you stand what they're doing to you? They'll get sick of it before I do. Whatever they try, they won't split us up. They can't keep you locked up forever. They just can't do it. Well, I'm going back to school in a couple of days. We'll get together somehow. Yeah. Look, Rosie, I know they'll try it, but don't let them turn you against me, yeah? Never. They couldn't. I love you. Craig, somebody's coming. I'd better go. Love you too. Well, that was cracking, that dinner. Want it, eh, kids? Yeah, tough that corn steak. Oh, no bother. You cow! What's wrong? Look! She's making fun of me! <laughs> no, I'm not! This isn't your chest. It's too big for one thing. <laughs> oh, Rosie! Do you know, you're all laughing at me. Nobody in this family takes me seriously. Oh, oh Sophie. Sophie. Sophie, don't. Go oh. Are you satisfied? Well, at least she's been paranoid. I shouldn't have said it, though. I'll go and apologise. Have you been slipping stuff in her grub? 
She's been good as gold this last couple of days. Oh, she's a bright girl, Kevin. She knows there's no point banging her head against a brick wall. Well, that's good, seeing that she's back at school tomorrow. Well, we might have won the battle, but we've not won the war. We've still got to keep an eye on her. Oh? What are you going to do? Ask the headmaster to spy on her? Oh, no, I don't want the school to get involved. No, but I don't want to let things drop, either. Why don't we try and talk to her again? Now she's calmed down a bit. See if we can sort things out. What's that on your head, man? What? What do you look like? Shut up. You wearing it for a day? I couldn't see you. I'll be back just in case your man was looking. Mm. Hey, uh, my granddad's out all afternoon. I can't Skype off. It's my first day back. What about after school? OK. Mm. Grandad, you in? I hate my parents. Oh, sweet man. They're not kids. They forget what it's like being our age. It's not like they get brainwashed the second they hit 25. I hate having to meet in secret like this. Having to pretend and lie. I don't mind lying if it means I can be with you. They're gonna have to accept us sooner or later. When they see that I love for you. I reckon they're just jealous. My mum and dad don't love each other. It's obvious. I feel sorry for them. They've never felt this. This intensity. Anyone can oversleep, especially after a few pints. What are they? There's a ski trip from school. Don't worry, I'm not going. Mum and Dad can't afford it. You're disappointed? No, not really. You'd never make it from Weddy High to Obergurgle and back. Over where? <laughs> Obergurgle. It's hand spinning, isn't it? Someone's coming. Quick, you've got some clothes on. Rosie? Rosie? No, she's not. Neither of us are. We trusted you. We trusted you and you stand there. I love Rosie and we're going to be together. Out! <laughs> Out! And don't you dare come near this house, near her ever again, do you hear me? You're wasting your breath. Nothing you're going to say is going to make any odds. If you don't clear off, I swear I'll... You'd better go. I'm not leaving you with her. Please, I'll be OK. Some clothes on. <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry. No, he's right. You're not sorry. You don't care about me, Rosie, are you, Dad? I do. I know you've made sacrifices. And I'm grateful. 
Well, I mean, you show it by being knocked up on the front room sofa. A sofa that we're still paying for because of your school fees. Oh, what a waste. What a flaming, stupid waste. I won't get pregnant, Mum. Give us some credit. Oh, I already have, and look where we are. I tried to understand you, Rosie, to treat you like an adult. That means let me make my own decisions. That's what adults do, isn't it? If anything proves you're still a child, it's this. You don't realise how fleeting your chances are. What heartbreak and frustration and disappointment means because you know nothing about life. Because you won't let me find out. <laughs> let me make mistakes if that's what you... Some mistakes you live with for the rest of your life and they go with you always. Not yours, though. We're not chucking it in, not after all we've been through. Get your coat. Why? What are you going to do? I said, get your coat! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what are you doing? Where are we going? Oi! Leave it alone! You hate me now! Where are we going? We're well, going to the medical centre. I'm not taking any chances. There's no need for we're careful. You're mad! You're just jealous because me and Craig are in love. Oh, you flaming, stupid girl! You've got no idea, have you? What you and Craig were doing isn't love. This is. Oh, man. There's no need for this. Shut up. Have you ever heard of sex? Be quiet. We don't want everybody knowing our business. Cut it over. Hey, Sal. Is it OK? We need to see a doctor. I think that's between us and the doctor, don't you? Yes. OK. Um, well, I'm afraid I can't fit you in today. Well, you'll have to. This is an emergency. Would you be better in A&E? No. But it's still urgent. Look, you've got a daughter, Gail. You know what it's like. We need to see a doctor right now. OK. Um, you take a seat and uh, I'll see what I can do. Well, um, why would a man drag her to the health centre like that? Well, for a checkup, probably. Shouldn't need a checkup. We use protection. Yeah. Okay. We're not kids, you know. We know what we're doing. Well, that as may be, but I'm going after. No, hang on, Craig. Hang on. Hang on. Now, I don't think that's such a good idea right now. Audrey's right, Craig. I take it Sally's found you and Rosie up to no good, huh? We were having sex, Audrey. All right. And we were sensible. She won't get pregnant and she won't catch anything. Now, will you please get out my Craig, way? Craig, Craig, now listen, I know you've been through a lot, love. If you go running after Rosie now, you're just going to make matters worse. Just leave Rosie and her mum to sort it out between the two of them now, right? Lee said soon as mended, all that. Hello, Danny Baldwin. I won't be coming in this afternoon cos Rosie's ill. Oh, hello, love. What, she all right? Well, she will be when she's seen a doctor. Oh, all right, then. Will you just keep us informed? Let us know what's happening, yeah? Yeah. All right. Bye. You've been lucky. Rosie Webster, room three. She's been a silly girl. And she's made a big mistake. And I hate to say it. I'm ashamed to say it. But she needs the morning after pill. I see. How old are you, Rosie? Fifteen, she is. Just turned fifteen. And was this your first time? So it was your boyfriend, was it? And how old's he? He's fifteen as well. Right. OK, well, I was fifteen once. I know what it's like. But you need to look after yourself, you know. Oh, I'm sick of telling her, Doctor. It's not just the risk of pregnancy. There are any number of infections. Some of them are just very unpleasant. Some of them can actually kill you. I know all this. Oh, she thinks she knows it all. That's a problem. So, what happened? Did you get carried away in the heat of the moment? No. So you thought it was worth the risk? There was no risks. I had safe sex. We used protection. 
So why do you want me to give you the morning after pill? I don't. She does. Well, tell her there's no such thing as safe sex, especially at her age. Accidents still happen. Well, maybe it's not the morning after pill that we should be discussing, but contraception in general. She's had illegal underage sex and you want to talk about contraception. But if Rosie says that she's been protecting us... Yeah, well, we, we can't take her word for it. After today, I'll never take her word again. I don't care what she says, she's having the pill, whether she wants it or not. Like any medication, Mrs Webster, there are side effects, some quite unpleasant side effects. Nausea, abdominal pain, headaches... Yeah, well, she should have thought about that before, shouldn't she? I'm not being funny, but it sounds like you're just trying to punish her. She's broken the law! I am sorry, Mrs Webster, but Rosie is the patient here and not you, and there is no way that I am going to prescribe unnecessary medication just as some kind of punishment. So, in other words, you're condoning it? No, but I have to treat... Oh, well, forget it. I'll go somewhere else. Come on, Rosie. Do the morning after pen. Yes. You know what to do. This is a joke, right? No joke. I don't believe a word you say anymore, and I'm not taking any chances. You can't do this. <laughs> you heard what the doctor said about side effects. Just take the pill, Rosie. No. Just to be on the safe side. No. <laughs> it's not a pork chop. It's not some <laughs> stupid teenage fad. It could be your whole future, and I swear to God, I will physically force it down your throat if I have to. <laughs> Many a time when you're little, your dad had to hold you still while I gave you your antibiotics. <laughs> you used to scream and cry and struggle because you didn't realise it was doing you any good and you hated the taste. <laughs> And it broke my heart to do it, but I had no choice. And I will do it again if I have to. <laughs> Take your medicine, Rosie. Open your mouth. <laughs> Tom. Good girl. Just one more in the morning, it'll all be over. <laughs> so what was all that about? She made me go to the doctor's. Then as if that wasn't bad enough. She went and got the morning after pill. She forced me to take it. Think you're pregnant? She just wants me to have a bad time. She's gone out. No, she's gone out. Right, I'll come round and see you. She won't be long. She's only gone to the shops. So, what's she gonna do? Make me take pills as well? No, we should go mental. Look, okay, but come round the back. I don't want my dad to see you. You gonna try and get out tonight? I don't know if I want to. I want to see you. It's just. No, yeah, sure. Be back at school though tomorrow. Oh, she's here. What are you doing here? I came to see Rosie. Even though you know you're not allowed in this house. No, I wouldn't have come round if she was allowed out. But she can't because the pills you've given her. Is that meant to be clever? No. It's true though. Go on, get out.
Can I just say something before I go? No! What? I know what you're doing. It's because you're Rosie's dad. You're looking out for her and wanting what's best for her. But I'm the same. I just want to look after her the same as you do. Look after her. Having sex, you mean? No. You know he doesn't. Look, I'm not going to stand here arguing. Go on. Get out of this house and don't come back till I say so. And when will that be? When I decide, OK? What are you going to tell Mum? I'll tell whoever I decide to tell. But if I don't tell her, if, it doesn't mean I approve or I'm on your side, all right? OK. Just means I want a quiet life now and again. doing it to punish you, Cal. Strange. When she was making me take it, I suddenly thought, well, what if I am pregnant? What if I have got a baby inside me? I'd be killing it. Yeah, but you wouldn't be, would you? Pregnant, I mean. Yeah, but it can happen, can't it? Even if you are careful. I suppose. I don't know what I'd do if I got pregnant. Could run away, get a flat. I'd do some labouring or something, look after you. Look after you both. Could be a family. It's all right. Hello? Hiya, um, I've got an appointment at half four. Right. Mum not with you? Does it look like it? I've got a Veruca. Craig said he'd come with me. You don't have to explain yourself to her. It's none of the business. And even if it was, she can't stay out. She could lose her job. Take a seat. What did I have to go and say that for? She's gonna go and tell my mum now, isn't she? She can't. But all she has to say is, how's Rosie's Veruca? And then she'll know. Well, so what if she does? You're not going to let them split us up, are you? No. Never. Take a seat. I thought I'd be seeing Dr Turner. He's not in today. So... What can I do for you? I want to go on the pill, but I don't want Mum and Dad to know. I see. I mean, it's private, isn't it? Whatever I tell you, you can't tell them. Of course you can't. He's right. I can't, but maybe you should. You're joking, aren't you? They'd go ballistic, especially my mum. You can't blame your mother for being upset. There's an age limit for a good reason. It stops you rushing into things. Sometimes lads can make you feel like you ought to when there's no ought to about it. Uh, Craig's not like that. If he was, I'd have told him to get lost. Sometimes you can feel like all your mates are doing it and most of the time they aren't whatever they say. It's not that. It's just... Well, we're in love. We thought about it once before, but we didn't feel ready. And you do now? Yeah. You can't put it off for another year. Why should we if it feels right? The law says it isn't. Yeah, well, I don't care what the law says. Or my mum. It's not like we're sleeping around or taking risks. We're trying to be sensible. If people just let us. What have you been using so far? <coughs> Condoms. Well, you should carry on using them too. Does that mean? I'll put you on the pill, yes. I'm not particularly happy about it, but I'd be even less happy if you came in asking for a pregnancy test. What are you doing? Mum's in the house. 
I wanted to see you. How long have you been waiting here? You're cold. Yeah, it's worth it to see you. I've got loads of homework. Oh, come on, two minutes. I've missed you. Yeah, me too. Why don't they understand? <sighs> They'll never understand. They've never experienced anything like this. I'd better go. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? When? I don't know, but I will see you. What are you doing? I'm looking for evidence. Sal, leave it. Just, just, just leave it! What are you doing? Uh, I'm just looking for the pen. There's a pen here? Yeah, well, it's run out. Oh, really? Let's see. Oh, all right. I was looking through your bag. And do you know why? Because I can't trust you anymore, Rosie. How can you talk about trust? when you were sneaking behind my back and going through my private things. We're well, sorry, Rosie. They're your things and we shouldn't have touched them. Well, what were you looking for, anyway? You're still seeing him, aren't you? I love him. You don't know the meaning of the word. OK, I'm sorry for going through your bag, but it's because I care about you. You're a teenager, Rosie. You don't know what you're doing and you're not ready for a relationship like this. And if you won't talk to me about it, then this is what I'm going to do. Look in the pencil case. I don't need a pen. Look in the pencil case. You'll find what you're looking for. What's that? She's on the pill. Who gave you these? The doctor. We went together. We talked about it and we decided it's the most responsible thing to do. You're 15! I can't believe this. He treated us with respect. He treated us like adults because we are acting like adults. It's a shame I can't say the same about you two. We love each other and you will never, ever Split us up. Oh, now, if you don't mind, I've got quite a lot of homework to do. How can they prescribe the pill for a 15-year-old behind our backs? We're our parents, do we have no rights? Kevin? Kevin? Leaving, Kevin. What have I done now? You stay away from my daughter! Do you hear me? This isn't a game now. Do you hear me? I'm not being smart, I'm not being clever, I'm telling you straight. You go near Rosie again, and I will put you in hospital. You think I'm frightened of you? You knew my dad. He was frightening, but you? She's 15. I love her. I don't care. So go on then. Hit me. You put her on the pill. You've no intention of stopping this, have you? No, I haven't. So you're gonna have to hit me because I'm never gonna stop seeing her. It's what my dad would have done. Maybe it's what I need. Maybe a good smack in the teeth will make me see sense. Go on, try it. Because you tried everything else, maybe this will actually work. You think you're so clever. That's what my granddad says. Yeah, well, you're not going to get away with this. We've done nothing wrong. Come away from him, Kevin. Leave him alone. That's my daughter. Maybe you should start acting like you care about her then. You keep pushing it. What are you going to do, mate? Your fist do the talking. Kevin, leave him. I love her. Oh. Why can't you understand that? I love her. No, I'm glad. You what? I'm glad you're as angry as I am. I came this close to punching his flaming lights out, Sal. Yeah, well, I feel like that all the time. I want to shake her, I want to thump him, and I want to hit Keith over the head with a spade and Audrey and all. Yeah, well, we can't keep them locked up, can we? But the more we fight it, the more they lie and cheat, do anything to be together. Do you know what I don't understand? 
How can a doctor prescribe the pill for a young girl when he knows that she's breaking the law? <laughs> we should call the police. Are you serious? I thought we could handle it, Sal. I know he's had a lot of trouble with his family, but he's breaking the law and he's not going to stop. I don't care about him. I care about Rosie. So, yeah, let's go to the police. You don't have to persuade me, but Rosie's not going to be very happy. Yeah, well, we've no choice, have we? We can't stop it, so it's time to call in someone who can. We'll go to the police. Uh, you, you know, you shouldn't be here, Rosie. I'm not stopping. Who are you? Oh, C Craig, um... I'm Detective Constable Susan Golding. What's happened to me, Mum? No, no, your, your, your mum's fine. What's going on? I'll explain later. Rosie, please, w will you go home? Craig, why are they here? Tell us, Grandad. Well, they're here because of you two. Oh. Yeah. I'll do the talking. Just... Rosie! Rosie, open the door! Dad, what's going on? Kevin, will you get that? Happy with yourselves, are you? You've been then. What possessed you? We didn't it's have any... It's called being responsible. The pair of them came in from school and found the police waiting for them, and you call that responsible? She's been at your house. How could you do it, Kevin? Involving the police in something like this? You're going to arrest him? That's not what we're here for, Mrs Webster. Look, whatever that boy told you. I've spoken to them both informally. Informally? A proper interview isn't appropriate at this stage. So what? You're just going to wash your hands of it all? As soon as I get back to the station, I'll be in touch with the Child Protection Unit and they'll decide if the complaint warrants further investigation. Wow! Do you mean if? That boy has committed a crime! Technically speaking, they both have. Rosie's a victim! I'm sorry, but it isn't that simple. I haven't found anything to suggest abuse or coercion. They're the same age, so it's difficult to establish any form of exploitation. But he's had sex with her! And your daughter says it was consensual. <sighs> this is just one big joke to you lot, isn't it? I can assure you we take it very seriously, Mrs. Oh, Hester. do you really? Right, well, explain this to me, then. If it's illegal to have underage sex, why don't you stop all them nurses at schools from giving out condoms like the lollies? I know that this is hard for you. Are you a mother? No, but... Well, you have got no idea how I'm feeling. She's just a file number to you, but Rosie's my daughter. And I'm the one who has to pick up all the pieces. I understand what you're saying, but any action we take must be in the best interest of the child. Oh, what about us? What about our interests? What do we do now? Someone will be in contact with you in the next few days. I'm sorry. I really am. I want to arrest him. What are we going to do? I don't know, love. We've lost. <laughs> Sophie not up yet? Just as well, cos we've got something to tell you, haven't we, Kevin? That's right. We know it's not been much fun for you these past few days, and we thought, what can we do to cheer her up? And then we remembered that skiing trip you wanted to go on, and we know how much it meant to you, all your best friends going on that. So we've had a talk, and, well, we think you should go after all. But should I? Yeah, well, I've rung Mr Edwards, and there's plenty of places. He said it's fine. No way am I going. You only do need to get me away from Craig. But I've booked it. Tom! Rosie, I am not following Mr Edwards and cancelling it now. You are going on the school trip. Whether I like it or not, what are you going to do? Call the police? Send my love to Mr Edwards when you speak to him. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you going to get into trouble? 
There's nothing the police can do to either of us. Did you know they were going to do it? They've completely lost it. I can't believe they thought they were going to split us up. Still trying, you know. How do you mean? You know that skiing trip they couldn't afford two weeks ago? Well, suddenly I can go. Today. To get you away from me? I told him to stuff it. <sighs> They're mental. I'd rather die than be apart from you. Well, because we try and be responsible. You should have seen her face when I said I wasn't going. She thought I'd just go along with it. It was so funny. Unless you did go. What? Let them think they've won. And then when you get back and they see nothing's changed, they'll have spent all that money. Are you serious? Teach them a lesson. You have got an evil mind. And then what will they do? They'll have nothing else to throw at us. They might even see that we're for real. Yeah, but I don't want to be away from you. It's only a week. Yeah, but... What's a week when we've got the rest of our lives together and there is nothing they can do about it? <laughs> Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse? Will you stop going on about it? You took your time. So what are you looking at me like that for? Is that, um, skiing trip still on offer? Yes, why? Well, can I go on it? What's well, changed your mind? Just seems mad not to. Just can I? Have your big posh holidays. It's all right for so many. Well, give us your bags. You think you're so much better, you lot, don't you? Well, you're not. What you want about you? Just ignore her. I do. I'll see you around, Sally. In the shop, in the pub, at work. Come on, let's get you inside. So, uh, what's been going on around here then? Right this way. Craig didn't even notice she'd been gone. Uh, shows how much you know. We texted each other, like, 30 times a day. So he must have told you about him and Susie Watkins, then, eh? What? Didn't think so. You lying little cow! Aye, that's enough. That's the issue, if you don't believe me. Mum! I'm sorry, love. He wouldn't. Look, we're sorry you had to find out like this. You're still trying to split us up? Get him over here and ask him yourself, then? No, you don't, because you know it's true. Go on, ask him. Shut it. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this. Has something happened? Look, we'll leave you to talk in private, shall we? Look, I've told about you and Susie Watkins, so there's no point in lying. Tell me you haven't. No, I haven't. Audrey said they was up in his bedroom. Yeah, we were doing coursework. Yeah, human biology. Hey. So you have seen her? Yeah, but I want not see him seeing her. Well, why didn't you text me about it? Cos I knew you'd take it the wrong way. Well, why would if you've got nothing to hide? Come on, Craig, do the decent thing, eh? Come on, let's give him a bit of privacy. Oh, no way, just get him out of here. No, I swear to you, Rosie, nothing happened, please. Well, come on, Craig, out. I know what you're going to say. I told you so. No, of course not. I've never really been nosing it. Makes your mum's heart to see you like this. I just can't believe he's done this to me. Have a tissue. I dropped it. Take a tissue. What do you care? Because, darling, your mascara's all over the place. <laughs> and anyway, I know this Susie Watkins. And she's got teeth like a donkey. And she smells like one. Look, I know and you're only trying to help. Tell me you love me. Do you know boys would say anything if it gets them what they want? We're all glad we've finished. I'll just got a bit. I'm all serious. You're too young. I'm 15. Do you know, I know this sounds sappy, love, but it doesn't matter how old you are, 
You'll always be my little girl. Rosie, Rosie, come inside. Please, come and talk to me. Come on. Our love will last beyond the grave, that's what you said to me. Yeah, and I meant every word. Well, how can you love me so much if you're with her? I could never cheat on you. You're right. Honestly, I wouldn't. Did you kiss her? No. We're just mates, that's all. Ask her. Yeah, I will. This is down to my granddad and Audrey, this. They just can't remember what it's like to be madly in love. Is that what we are? This... this is wrong. Us being like this, it's like we're going against nature or something. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. My mum and dad are going to chuck such a wobbler when they find out. Don't tell them. What? Don't tell them. God, you're dead romantic, are you? <laughs> no. If you pretend you're sad and heartbroken, well, they'll leave you alone, won't they? I ain't not at the table, loving it when people are eating. What people? Some of my dumb sister. Aye, that's enough. Anyway, I so dumped him. <clears throat> yeah, it's called rewriting history. So, what are you up to today? Do you know, you look so pretty, Rosie, without all that makeup on. Um, well, I thought I'd go around to Pippa's and do a bit of homework and play CDs and that. Well, that sounds good. Well, you're stuck into your own work, eh? That's the spirit. Yeah, no way we're going to mope out of that loser. Well, it's just as well. Because I'll be lodging it down the precinct with Susie Watkins. Oh, don't be so cruel, Sophie. Oi. Craig Flaming Harris isn't fit to lick your boots. Uh, I'll see you later. All right, then. See you, kids. Bye, Bye guys. Dad. Chat, Mum, honestly. I've moved on. Get lots done at Pippa's. Mm. Yeah, we got off to a good start. And then we just played funeral for a friend and chilled. I thought we agreed you'd be back by six. Yeah, um bad one. I just lost track of time. Craig not got a watch. Oh, I, I thought you'd been dead weird. You're feeding us a pack of lies. Yeah, but how about you? You wasn't even seeing Susie Watkins. They were only doing coursework. Oh, he's an even bigger liar than you are. We fuck out for a holiday of a lifetime. Yeah, only to get me away from Craig. We give you the best of everything and you just chuck it back in our faces. I don't want it, you stupid money. Hey, watch your mouth. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I don't. You could pay me a million pounds and I still wouldn't stop seeing Craig. Why are you so determined to ruin your life? I so don't need this. I don't know what to do with you. Come on, Sal. I'll put yourself in an early grave. <laughs> you should have seen the brochure. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but it's got to be a bluff. I mean, they can't afford for you to board, can they? Believe me. If a mindset, set, she'll find a way. Craig? I've lost everything. My family, 
not with you. I'm going to be totally on my own. I won't be able to take it, Rosie. I know I won't. Don't cry. Please. I won't leave you. I promise. Yeah. And how can you promise that? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm sorry, I didn't think there was anything. Where are you going? Don't you mean who am I seeing? Craig. If I'm going to be sent away anyway, I may as well. I looked up this school on the internet. Makes our kill look like a dump, doesn't it? What are you, Dad and Sophie, going to live on? Bread and dripping? Clothes from the goodwill? Well, that's up to you, Rosie. I know you're not serious. You can't be. Not at five grand a term. Maybe it is beyond our means. But I'll tell you something. Even if it means I have to get another part-time job, another two jobs, you're going. Sarah! No more! Get off her! Craig, this is my daughter. I tell her what to do and she does it, okay? In the car, Rosie. Good it's done, mate. So, if I won't do what you say, you'd better kidnap me. Kidnapping you, Rosie? You're my daughter. I can take you wherever and whenever I want. Does my dad know that you're doing this? No, I don't think so. You won't be very happy when he finds out. This is my decision, Rosie. I'm doing it for your own good. Mum, I'm starting to worry about you. Really? You're obsessed. I can't just stand by and watch you chuck your life oh, away. Oh, not that again. Yes, Rosie, that again. Only this time I'm determined to get through to you. <laughs> Mum? What are you doing? That was a red light. Doormat. Trying to be funny, Craig. What's what they call people who just get walked over in it? People who don't stick up for themselves. <laughs> you looking for a thick hair or what? Well, come on then. I reckon I can have you. And that's me, I can't fight for Toffee. You're so under the thumb. And you just take it because you're scared she's going to run off with someone else. You're looking for trouble, mate. You carry on. When Rosie said that you stuck up for her, I didn't believe it. I knew you'd get whipped into shape the second she left the house. What are you talking about? She's not told you, has she? No, of course not. Why would she? She doesn't care what you think. This is your last chance to start making sense. Sally took Rosie, she put her in the car and she took off. Took off? Where? When? About an hour ago. I think they're on the way to Melrose. Just 
like stop at a cafe or something. You think I care about you, don't you? You think I just get on your case and I nag, nag, nag every minute of the day. Keep your eyes on the road. You think all I want to do is stop you enjoying yourself, Rosie, but I don't. Do you want me to be scared? I want you to have the best possible life. A better life than I had. I want you to have a wonderful job, a proper job. I want you to be happy. So do I. You can't. You won't. Not if you waste all this precious, precious years. Stay focused on your studies to get away from all these distractions. I don't want to send you away, Rosie. I'm just trying to protect you. I'm trying to be a good mother. Can you just pass the telephone, Matt? Yeah, just coming too fast. Calm down, I'm right behind you. Sweetheart. Yeah, you're not a... God. Where's your mum? She won't come back. Well, you wait in the cab. Stay warm, I won't be long. Lock the doors. Rosie? What's going on? Are you all right? It's all my fault. No, it isn't. It's your mum. She's mad for driving you out. Shut up, Craig. No, I mean, I'm just saying it's not your fault, right? Well, then it's our fault. Stand up. Give your sister a shout. You better eat these. I'll re-eat them. Is Mum coming down? Not yet. I'm going to go and see her. Tomorrow, eh? Better sleep. You're supposed to be lying down. I'm sorry, Rosie. Oh, I don't, Mum. I didn't mean for you to see me like that. I just felt... I'm finishing with Craig. I will. I promise. No, Rosie, I don't want you to promise me. Just turn into another lie, and I don't want any more lies. Look, we can talk about this tomorrow, eh? If you're going to promise me something... What? Stay close. Will she be all right? Yeah, she will be. Of 
course I'm not going to dump you. Not now, not ever. Yeah, but I just thought... Yeah, well, don't think. All I'm saying is, I just don't want to upset my mum anymore. In fact, can you just wait here one minute? Just one minute. Hey, I just wanted to tell you, I think you're a fantastic mum. And I know that all you did, you're only thinking of me. And I'm so sorry I've given you a hard time. And I do love you, always. Job. You ready? Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, Rosie, you're not having any dinner. Get yourself something when you're out. Oh, I'm all right. No, take it. Thanks. Craig, I know we've had our differences, but I just want to say that Rosie's dad and me were thinking about you today. Thanks. I want to say something on your own. Don't be daft. I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't want you here. I don't understand. No, it's all right, honestly. I've forgotten how it felt stood here. It's even worse now. How? Because it didn't seem real back then. You don't think life will just carry on like they were never here? It does, though. Because you made it go on, Craig. Because you just... Because I had you. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you, Rosie. I mean it. That's how much of a difference you made. I was worried about you last night. I'll be fine. I'm sorry things have been so heavy right now. Oh, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Listen, I love you. I'd do anything for you. We can go back to mine if you want. My granddad's not in. Yeah, it's just I told my mum and dad I won't be long. You won't be? I know, but... Are you sure there's nothing wrong? Yeah. It's just... Things at home have been better than they've been in ages. And I just don't want to mess it up. Sure, yeah. I'll come round another time. No, it was just that I wanted to give you that, that's all. What is it? It's like a symbol of how I feel. Commitment and that. Oh, Craig. It's beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. It's gorgeous. I mean, they do all the colours and that. No, black's perfect. I'll wear it forever. <laughs> hey, hold your horses, Kevin. Have you got everything? Have you got your PE kit? Check. Your dinner money, your lunchbox? Check. Check. Your cereal bar for your break? Obsessive compulsive disorders? Cheek. You could eat this on the bus. Get it last. Why, well, it's better than an empty belly. I don't want it. Look, the, the, the Websters are just leaving. Catch a lift. No way. Well, you'll be late. No, Grandad. <laughs> Slept in. <laughs> Right through the alarm. <laughs> oh. you be up! They're not back yet. I've been texting her all day. What, you haven't heard that she is then? Who? Rosie. Haven't you heard? No. What? Well, she had an accident coming out of school. What kind of accident? She got hit by a car. Well, I don't know the ins and outs. Kevin and Sally just want to screech it off. That was hours ago. Why didn't they ring me? Well, they probably didn't think. They were worried sick of Yeah, it. and I'm not. Two hours, she could be dead. Look, we would have known that by now. No, but, but Craig, we you going? The hospital. Unbelievable. Oh, 
Could I found? Where is she? She's having x-rays. I want to see her. Well, you'll have to wait the same as us. Look, the doctor says she'll be all right. He just wants to see what's broken. Broken? She was hit by a car. Yeah, got that on the machine. Oh, I don't want it, Kimball. I came as soon as I heard. Yeah. She got knocked over outside Oak Hill. I told her before about walking out with a stupid girl. Yeah. You all right? I've been so worried. Yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> That's the main thing. I lost the bracelet you gave me. Just came off and I was hit. It's all right. Sorry. I don't get upset, Rosie. It's only a bracelet. The doctor says you need to rest. Are you still mad at me? No. I only shouted at you because I was frightened. You were very precious to me. Yeah, me and all. You know, if, if you need to get off and look after Sophie, I can stay. I can stay all night. No, Kevin's looking after Sophie. What, your granddad be wondering where you are? I found him. Can't you both stay? I'd like that. Yeah, of course we can. It's Craig! Hiya. Shouldn't you be at school? Yeah, but I just wanted to come and make sure. She's fine. She's going to be back to normal in no time. Well, normal as she ever gets. <laughs> Very funny. Don't worry about her, Craig. She's going to make a full recovery. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. Mm. First thing I'm going to get you when we get out of here, a pair of reflective armbands. <laughs> Has it? Or better still, one of those fluorescent yellow waistcoats to start working and wear. I'm really going to wear that. I think I'd rather get run over again. Don't make jokes like that. Yeah, Craig's right. Do you know, it could have been much worse. <laughs> Doesn't bear thinking about. Rosie? She's in bed. Right. I think she's still in shock. Crackers and mushy peas, eh? Oh, no, it's guacamole. Come again. It's like a veggie dip thing. You mash up the avocado, she's dead into it. Mm, I think I'll stick to the mushy peas. <laughs> so, you've been here long? Most of the day. Did you school then? Yeah, but it's, it's only for today. Fair enough. I was expecting Craig. <laughs> cool. She's through here. Hiya. What have you done to yourself? You look really weird. I bought you these. Did you buy them or did you bring them? There is a grammatical difference. I bought them. Whatever. Dad, please don't pretend you know a thing about goth culture. Uh, I live with you, don't I? Jack Johnson. Craig, you're scaring me. Hey, no, he's, he's really chilled. Hey, you've underdone it on the eyeliner, haven't you, Craig? Mum, do you mind not interfering in my conversations, please? You were so shameful. Well, I like Jack Johnson. Yeah, cos you're about 90 million years old. Oh. Honest to God, they've been fussing around me all weekend, and I'm just sick of it. Yeah, well, it's only cos they're worried about you. You're their little girl. Little? Craig, have you stood behind her when the sun's shining? It's like an eclipse. <laughs> Explain yourself. This thing just hasn't stopped ringing. Hello? Imogen? Did you hear what happened to me? <laughs> oh, is it hilarious? What have you heard? She's not told Imogen yet. I thought Imogen was a best mate. No, she's been at a cello workshop in Giggles Wick. I've got some herbal tea, soothing. Freak. Sophie, do you know what? I think you look very nice, Craig? Yeah. But you so know what happened. Imogen heard I'd lost the use of both of my legs. Oh, that is officially bear. What's bear? Bear's like wicked. I look like a kid use it at school. 
She keeps cutting out on me. I don't know why you're finding this so funny. Get some wool and knit yourself a sense of humour, Craig. I'm being serious. You could have died. Do you know, Craig's right, Rosie. I'm finding this very hard to listen to you bigging up this story to all your mates, cracking jokes about it. Stand-up comedians are funny and slipping on a banana skin, that's very funny, but this isn't. God, you're in a really weird headspace. All of you. And as for what you're wearing... Hello? Rosie, will you stop texting image and look at me? Are you jumping me? Don't be daft. Have you kissed somebody else? No. Have you slept with somebody else? Don't be soft, no, of course not. Mm. Look, it's just when I was at the hospital and I was asking the doctors how you were. I could see them all looking at me. And they were all on edge because of the way I looked. And since then, it's really done me head in. Yeah, but we want people to think that we're freaks. It's to be actively encouraged. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being judged everywhere I go. And if you must know. What? I can't afford the makeup. Look, Rosie, I just want to be normal. I've had enough weird stuff happen to me in my life without people treating me like I'm a monster. Oi. Talk to me. There you are. Oh, well done, Grandad. The cataracts haven't set in just yet. But you should be at home, heads in books, not hanging round street corners like... Chavs? Losers? Lump and proletariat? Oh, by heck, those school fees weren't spent in vain, were they? <laughs> Go on with you. <laughs> Wednesday night? He was a party on Wednesday night. People that don't have an office to go to in the morning. Reels out the bores from the off. Well, I'm in. Yeah, me too, once I finish my revision. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Cool. See you then. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Put your women in and I'll spank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be revising. Mum. I think it's right with you advising. I'll and then get I thought, you why well, doesn't Dad come down as well? <laughs> and then I can stay uh, with Sophie and he can come down with you. But then I thought, Great. you know, we just chat. Because you don't want Thank your fella around tagging along, do you? When you're with the girls, spoiling the fun. All oh, right, thanks. Not you, just, just fellas in general. Just give them a nudge in the I would love your dad yeah, to yeah, come, Rosie, and then you can tuck yourself up in your little bed with your pass notes and everybody would be happy. Slammers. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the planet needs. Tequila slammers all round. Oh, count me out. Come on, Deirdre. Am I eating every day? Let it down, down. Live a little. <laughs> Do you want to come in, then? Oh, I don't know. I've got loads of homework to do. Hey, Rosa! Can you give us hand over here a minute? Forget it. It's actually later. Oh, no. Don't go. That's Faith, that is. He's the weak link. Well, if you can get well in with him, then you'll be able to come round whenever you like. No, I'll wait for my dinner invite. Oh, no, come over now. Do some male bonding stuff. Talk about football or something. <laughs> come on. What's up? It's just weird, isn't it? My dad and that. I've not been back there since. I'm sorry. I didn't think. I'll, I'll go and see what he wants. No, you're all right. I'll come with you. Are you sure? Yeah. Say, I was out on a pickup, so I just need you to sit in the car and rev it for a bit. Well, Craig can do that for you. You don't want to be hanging around here, do you, mate? No, I don't mind. Great. Well, I've got lots of homework to do, so I'll see you later. Listen, you get off. I'll find something else to do till Tyron gets back. If it was a problem, I wouldn't be here. OK. Get you some overalls. You uh, don't have to do this if you don't want. A few years ago, this is all I wanted. Be a mechanic following his footsteps. <laughs> I used to love it in here. Better put them on.
So do you reckon Big Kev will take his on as apprentice when I leave school? I don't know. Is that really what you want to do? Why? A mechanic not good enough for an Oak Hill girl. Oh. Hey, behave yourself, you two. <laughs> no, I reckon it'd be fun. I mean, it's a bit scary at first, like, but we're going all right. What was that for? Just to pass. Hey, Craig! You know what you're saying about your granddad being away? Yeah. So when? Tomorrow. All right, so, uh, why don't you come to ours for your tea tonight? About six o'clock. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I am. All right, nice one. See you then. Hiya. You're not going to believe this. Your dad's just invited me around for tea. You joking? No, I'm serious. He told me to get there for six o'clock to send me a place next to you, yeah? Well, has he chat with my mum? Because she's not very keen on surprises. I don't know. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do. No, it'll be fine. Oh, he must have checked with my mum. Even my dad's not that stupid. All right, then, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Shut up. What? I'm impressed. Oh, wonderful. Our guests have arrived. I'm giving it a go, sir. No, no, Kevin, I'm looking forward to it. Shame we didn't invite Scylla. We could have made it into a real party. Quick, sir. I bought you these. Oh, they're very nice. Thank you, Craig. And this is to go with dinner as well. Actually, we don't usually drink wine with our evening meal. Ooh, but tonight, we'll make the exception. So, how long till you want a seat, Kev? I don't know. How long does this take? I don't know. I'm not the chef. Mm. Go and get your sister, love. And I'll, uh, I'll put these in a vase. That smells really good. Didn't realise you were a dab hand in the kitchen. No, Craig. Me neither. <laughs> Cheers, that's, um, that's nice. Uh, would your granddad let you have a glass, Craig? It's just a small one. But... I'm nosy. Do you know, the next problem, you'll be off to Alcoholics Anonymous and you'll be blaming it on me and your dad. Yeah, well, I'll have half a glass. Don't joke about it, Sophie. And, Rosie, I'd feel happier if you didn't have a glass of wine. The pasta looks really nice, Mr Webster. Hey, call me Kevin. There's nothing wrong with a bit of respect, Kevin. It's like your best friend. He's your daughter's fella. He's not my fella, he's my partner. Oh, please. Well, we've been going together longer than most people around here, so I don't see why not. Yeah, but partner does seem a little bit... What? Ponzi. Well, I think your ponzi's to there. Why did you swear all that makeup, Craig? Was it to cover your ugly mug? Sophie? You were so asking for a slap. Yeah, Sophie, don't be rude to our guests. What, you all over him like a rash for? Usually I can't stick him. What did you call him the other week? Sophie, grow up. A gender-bending fruit bar, wasn't it? No, I doubt it. Dad's not that particular. <laughs> Excuse me, your dad has just cooked a lovely meal for you and your partner. So? So, show a bit of respect. In fairness, I did used to look a bit of a freak. Yeah, you said it, Wado. Will you listen to yourself? Anyway, it's not what you look like that counts. It's what you do that matters. This so do my head in. You're such a drama queen. Excuse me, I'm just fully aware that I've got dysfunctional parents. Well, they're hardly Dr. Crippen and his missus. Who? Oh, we did him in history, buried under the floorboards. You may look like an all-American boy. You're still a freak deep down. Oh, what did you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, into it, I didn't push you into it, did you? Maybe one day you'll be like them. No, you didn't. Except today. I'm not caring at all. What did you do? Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, we weren't coming. I texted you. They're confiscating my phone again. We're going to have to be more careful. Are you going to get it back? Yeah, only today. Phew. Only die if you can't text you every ten seconds. Ignore him. He's just jealous because he can't get a girlfriend. I don't want a girlfriend. Oh, got something to tell us. Oh, get lost. Do me head in, you two. <laughs> See ya. Bye. You're doing hot tonight. Uh, why do you want to know? Chill. 
if I wanted him for that, I'd just, like, snap my fingers. Um, what it is, see, my dad wants to know if he can mind the shop. Oh, no, I'm, I'm taking Rose out tonight. So see you some other night. Excuse me. He'll pay you double time. Well, I suppose you could do with the money. And I have got lots of homework. Right, go on then, yeah, I'll do it. Nice one, about five, okay? Okay. Give me a kiss. So immature. Come here. It's a pair of chaps. Hey. You're going to buy yourself a decent lunch. Guilt money, that's what it is. Well, she don't want it. I'll just go to school then, shall I? Doesn't matter that I'm nearly vomiting with worry. Is everything all right? It's fine. Listen, you are not going to pull my strings. You know, I know you do it to your mother, but you're not going to do it to me. Make sure you get on that bus. What a total toss spot. <laughs> uh, hello? That's my dad you're dissing. Yeah. No, that was a false alarm, you said. Yeah, well, I said a lot of things. Go on. Oh, I thought it might be the style police come to you for your CD collection. Funny. Now, No, it was just to do them cards we've been getting. Oh, have they got someone on it? Well, I mean, we'll just try to keep a lid on it. Oh, go on, tell us. We won't tell anyone, will we? Well, I just think she's a bit ashamed, cos she knows she's been completely stupid again. Go on, spill. You know you want to. All right, well, put it this way. Out of all the blokes she could have gone for in the world, she has to choose another complete total nut job. No way, wasn't that guy? Phil the Mad Jock. Obsessed with Richard Ewer, even made out that he was doing this thesis on serial killers or whatever, when all the time he was getting off on it. Oh my God, what a weirdo. And to think he's been in your house and everything. Yeah, I know, tell me about it. She always has to go for someone with a screw loose. You giving him your phone? No. Showing him how to text. No, it doesn't work properly. Yeah, because you got it on predictive, that's why. What's that? Well, it guesses what you want to say. <laughs> well, how can I do that? I don't know what I want to say. All right, go on then. What am I putting? Uh, all right. Um, Amber, um, you disappearing like that and having your mother, having me frantic and worrying about uh, where you are is not big and it's not whoa, clever. Whoa, and it's... whoa, whoa, whoa. This is way too long. I'm waffly. Texts have got to reach the point. Right. Uh, well, what do you want to say? Go home, come here, what? Just give me that. I'll do it later. Whose life do you think's worse, mine or Amber's? What do you mean? Well, I was thinking, is it better to have a dad when you're a kid and then lose him, or not have one and then find him? What, you mean if I had to choose? Yeah. I was trying to work it out last night. And? Well, I was thinking... I'm probably best off, but then again, what have I got now? Yeah, but what has Amber got? Dad, please! It's not like you're at a loose end. Well, it's not far. Then work. Why not for you to lift? You don't want to be seen with me. What's up? I'm trying to blab a lift to Pippers. Dad's too tight to give me one. <laughs> too busy. I didn't know we were going to Pippers. Well, I am. Why not? Hang on, I thought we might be spending the afternoon together. Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Yeah, about three days. Well, she's painted her room black. I never said a lot. Well, she wants to show it off. Got a couple of hours work? Yeah. It's not like I've got anything else to do. Sorry. It'd be easy for him to rip you off when he's on your roof. He knows what he's doing up there or not doing. It's not like you can look over his shoulder. Well, I suppose. I feel like being under a car. Yeah, I suppose so. No, it's totally different. Are you trying to be funny? No, I was, I was just saying. Hiya. Hiya. I was about town this morning meeting your mates. Oh, yeah, I am. I just wanted to come and see you. Goodbye. See your old dad. Hey, I'm touched. Uh, you must be, if that's what you think I'm doing. Oh, charming. Fancy a brew? Yeah, it's uh, I'll see you later. So which mates you meeting then? Oh, just the girls. We're hitting the shops. Do you want to come? <sighs> no. Being dragged around town by a load of girls will be bored stiff. What, so you'd rather be here looking out some dirty engines? Yeah. Well, lads have got no idea how to enjoy themselves. I'll text you later. All right. I hope you
you haven't got it already. Oh, I've wanted that for ages. Nice one. Did you have a nice time then? Oh, yeah, we had a right laugh. Gemma bought some more nice clothes. We've been like this shot for like two hours. I don't think Josh and Mikey were very happy. Who the hell are Josh and Mikey? Oh, some of the girls bought the boyfriends. You never said any lads were going. Yeah, well, I didn't know myself. They hated every minute. You didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's not the point though, is it? I don't believe this. Actually jealous, aren't you? Oh, bless. What, you wouldn't like it? Please! Josh is a mingy. And Mikey had come up to your waist. Really? Defo. None of them's a patch on you. Josh needs a stepladder to kiss his girlfriend. Yeah, there was a time I did and all. Yeah, well, not anymore. <laughs> Dad says you can come round for your tea tonight. Right. I'll see you later. Haven't you left for school yet? I'm, I'm, I'm just, just going. He's got to get his morning knit in, otherwise he'll be going through withdrawals all day. Is that right? I'll see you outside. Listen, you're going to get something sorted today, aren't you? I'll try. And if there's any chance that we can stay here, then... I said, I'll try. Right, come on. Can't you two at least spend the school day apart? I tried ringing. How did it go with citizen's advice? And what's Rose's excuse? She's involved as well. Are you going to get chucked out? And he can legally evict us if he chooses to do so. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'll squat in the house. Brilliant. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You two can't see past being separated. I'm trying to keep a roof over our head. And I'm not giving up without a fight. We'll sort it out. And if he doesn't, find somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else in Sheffield. She's in there now, measuring up for a little kid. I didn't think they could do things like that. Yeah, well, neither did I. Where am I going to live? I don't know. She's got a flaming nerve, that Shirley Stubbs. What? Go on, what have they been saying about me now? Oh, it's not the parents. It's school. There's this trip to France in a fortnight, and I've got to go. What? Well, we go to this boarding school and have lessons in that. It's to improve our French for GCSE next year. You never said. Well, I didn't think I had to go. They said it was optional. So how long are you going for? Five weeks. Five weeks? Well, why are you going if you don't have to? Well, the teachers have been on at me, and so has my mum. And, well, all my friends are going. So you'd rather be with them than me? I can't be the only one who doesn't go. <sighs> and I'll be behind next year if anything else. I just don't see as if I've got any choice. I'm really sorry. Five weeks? It'll soon pass. And we can't do everything together, can we? Life's just not like that. Yeah, and what if I get chucked out while you're gone? Oh, you won't get chucked out. And we'll be back before you know it. What are you all doing later? Same as we do every day. Sit in a wall and get blamed for stuff. Mind if I'm there? No? We'll have anyone who'll pay for their own chips. She just does my head in it. I just don't like her. She's so irritating. She'd have seen what she called. She should have heard what she called. No, she should. Have you had no tea? Uh, what's that got to do with it? <laughs> hang about. There's a whole shop full in there. Get your own. Oh, Ian, get hold of this then. Uh, uh, what's in here? Bit of a bonus from my dad's shop, innit? Get one. There's loads. Hmm, this one's what? Orange and vodka. Orange and vodka, lemonade and vodka, dandelion and burdock and vodka. Not sure about that one. <laughs> hey yo! At what time are you coming in? I'll ring you. Yeah. Only so I can organise my life, you know, like normal people? I said I'll ring you. Well, you know what? If you can keep getting it, we're gonna keep drinking it. No problem. <laughs> uh to the catchy show. And that ain't gonna happen. Here, take the rest home and destroy the evidence, innit? <laughs> Where's Rosie? She sent me out first. She could hide that booze Amber gave you. Well, I had it from you. Probably. I don't know why. No way she hides stuff anyway. Alright. Back of the wardrobe. That's where her diary is anyway. She's got a diary? Yeah, but don't worry, Craig. It's all about you. 
I love Craig. Craig is gorgeous. I L H N A F A. What? I love him now and forever. Amen. Hey, shouldn't you be at the bus stop? I'm waiting for Rosie. I thought she'd gone. Where is he? You're gonna be late. How was your mum? Oh yeah, she was fine. <laughs> hey Craig and Sally. Look at this. Right, happy Father's Day. Love from. Love from Asha and Ardi. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice! Lovely. Cheers. Hey, it's good writing for babies. Yeah, it is. I did text Anita's hand in this. Here's a look. Nah, I reckon the twins did it all by himself. Right, well. Oh, yeah. It's gone. What's gone? The drink, it's not there. So, I'll get Amber to get some more. It's not that. We've the mum seen it. It'll be Sophie. <laughs> I know I shouldn't moan. Yeah. He only does it once a year, but I never know when he's going to do it. <laughs> What's that, Mum? Oh, Norris, taking magazines off the display. Mm. Wiping <laughs> the shelves down. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't hang around outside here, because it's not fair on Rita. Oh, I'm used to him. Well, you might not say that over the summer when they're here all day. At least I know this lot, and I know where they live. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come and have a cup of tea with me and leave Norris to it? Do you know, I think I might just do that. <laughs> Sophie? Oh, my God, Sophie. Sally? What is it? Sophie? What's happened? Have you fallen? I don't feel well. Is she all right? Shall I go get somebody? I'm sorry. It's that drink. Have you been drinking? Sophie! You hungry? Mm, a bit white. I just thought we could get a pizza. Ooh, it's grand out. Well, it's bound to be. We'll be celebrating keeping the house. Oh, that's so good, that. I know. Do you think it would have changed things if I'd have had to move? Of course it would. My mum just lets me come here. And Pippa's isn't far, but we always have to get lifts and that. Audrey! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Still smiling! <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> See you tomorrow, look. Here. What's that for? Well, I had a bit put by, you know, of thinking that we need a bits and pieces when we moved. Well, go on, take it! Oh, right, nice one. Might as well enjoy yourself. Right. How about we don't order a pizza? How about we go for one? What, like sit in, just us? Yeah. I want to see the waiters have to treat us like they're going to have to when we live together and have jobs and that. Yeah, OK. Uh, I'll ask my mum, mind you. What? Just have that drink. Ah, she won't have done. She'd have kicked off by now. Stop worrying, she won't have. It'll be Sophie. And she's only going to tell you, Mum, is she? Mm. <laughs> mum! I'll just leave her now and tell her that we're going out. Where is she? Here. Sit down, Rosie. Oh, Craig was taking me for a pizza. Yeah, well, now Craig's going home. Oh, well, no, I, I was actually going to take her for a pizza because, you see, we, we're keeping the house, so I was going to... Oh, keep... well, I'm very pleased for you. But I want to talk to Rosie unless you know where she got this alcohol from. Text me, all right? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to give you a choice. You tell me where you got the alcohol from or you're grounded right up until you go away. Mum? That is so not fair. You're not allowed to buy alcohol at your age. It's against the law. I didn't. So who gave it to you then? No one. Do you know, it must be somebody pretty special if you're protecting them, Rosie, because it's going to cost you seeing Craig till... How long will it be till you get back? I found it. Who gave it to you? No one! Fine. You're grounded. Text Craig and tell him you'll see him in September. It was Amber. Amber? Yeah. We got it from the shop. Oh, did she? And I know you didn't approve about us drinking the alcohol and everything. But I was just wondering because because Rosie's gone away and I, I just thought maybe I could I could still take her out. Why? For a pizza or something. When? Um tonight, maybe. 
Well, that'll be why she's been getting ready for the past half hour and told me she won't be eating here tonight. Oh, right. So you're not asking me, are you, Craig? You're telling me what's happening. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was, I was just... <laughs> I'll see if she's ready. Where is he? Dinner. In a restaurant. Sounds serious. Not going to propose to her, are you? No, we're just going out to eat. Just a normal date. Yeah. Better late than never then, I always say, Craig. Table for two? Yeah. Who's going public? Yeah, no more having to sneak around anymore. Right. Pizza or pasta? Oh, I don't know yet. Let's just take our time. This might be the last chance we get to be alone before I go away. Let's not talk about that now, eh? Mm. Five whole weeks. I just don't want to survive. Thanks. If you check your mobile works out there. Oh, it will. Then we'll be fine. Yeah, but it's not quite the same as seeing each other every day, though, is it? Look, I want you to have a brilliant time. And I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. Yeah. Has your granddad said anything more about Sheffield? No, he's, he's still trying to find a place around here. I feel like everything's always been against us. Not anymore. I just need to look at you. I need to remember your face. You've got loads of photos. Yeah, well, a photo's not enough. Come on. Hiya. Oh, yeah. I'm off to Finland later to see my mum. You're off today and all, aren't you? Yeah. Do you know, I really miss the old cow. I mean, you get sick of the sight of them, but when they're not there... Hey, Rosie, you've only got an hour or so before your taxi comes. Look, why don't you nip to the cabin and get yourself some mints and a packet of tissues? Mum, stop fussing. But you can't go all the way to France without a clean anky, can you? <laughs> so, Amber, have you packed your thermal knickers? Uh, actually, it's about 12 degrees in Finland at the moment. Oh, it means nothing to me. I'm still in old money. <laughs> now, you behave yourself while you're away. Keep off the alcohol pops. Look, I'm not having a go at you, Amber. I thought what you did the other day was very brave, apologising to me like that. It took a lot of courage. <laughs> it's OK, cool. Cos I was young once, you know, snogging lads behind court. Uh, gross! Hey, you should have seen me the first time I got drunk. I ended up in gutter with my skirt over me and singing birdie song. <laughs> Mum, too much information. Yeah, all I'm saying is we all make mistakes, that's all. Just so long as you don't do it again. No, no, I won't, honest. No, she's a good girl, she learned a lesson. Right then, well, have a good time. Come on, Rosie. Oh, no. Oh, what's up? I've got you, Shami. Right, wait there. Yeah, wait there. Oh, I think you've got a fan there. Mm, one of many, what can I say? Come on, you'll be fine. I got this for Rosie. Let's have a see. Well, you're not thinking of proposing to her, are you? It's an eternity ring. <laughs> you drive me to an early grave, you will. <laughs> She'll love it. No, uh, Craig, uh, wait a minute. I really have to go, cos No, she no, this no, is No, I will important. later, though. No, it'll not keep. Um... Look, um, uh, you, you, you're going to have to say a, a proper goodbye to Rosie. I'm not with you, what? Well, th this angina attack, it's a warning. That's what the doctor said, and things are going to have to change. What's that got to do with me? Well, you can't look after me. I mean, you're a young man. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Look, I've, um, I've spoken to your Auntie Marjorie. I can look after you. We're going to stay with her in Bournemouth. Bournemouth? For how long? How long? You give me a fright. Oh, don't worry. She's going to be back before you know it. 
We're moving. I've got to live with Grandad's sister in Bournemouth for good. <laughs> good result for you, eh? Me finally going, me and Rosie finally splitting up. No, it's not that. Do you really think that I want to see my daughter heartbroken? I still don't agree with what you've done, but you're a decent enough lad. How am I going to tell her? Well, you can't. What? Well, you know how much she's been looking forward to this trip. Yeah, but... Well, if you tell her now, you're going to ruin it for her. I'm a meant to lie, pretend everything's all right. You told me you loved Rosie. You know I do. Then I trust you to do what's best for her. We're going to be texting each other every day. How can you expect me not to mention it? I'll explain everything to her when she gets back. I got you this. You can always swap it for something if you don't like it. Oh, Craig. It's an eternity ring. Yeah. It means we'll be together forever. Come on, love, it's time to go. Sophie, put some of these bags in the boot. Come on. What? So I've got skivvy right across me, I've no other. I want you to promise me something. You'll be the first person I see when I get back. <laughs> I can't. We're moving down south. I'm sorry. No. Look, it's only Bournemouth. I mean, I, I can come back and visit you at weekends. This is it, isn't it? We're finished. Oh, don't say that. You know, that's the last thing I want. You were going to go without saying goodbye. You knew. Well, Craig and I agreed. We, we just didn't want to spoil your oh, trip. I'm going nowhere. Look, it's too late to cancel now, Rosie. Like, that matters. Sophie, put a bag back in the taxi. <sighs> Do you know what? My granddad can go on his own. I'm nearly 16. I can do what I want. Oh, Craig. No, I mean it. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. What are you going to do? I'll think of something. Where are you going to stay? No, that doesn't matter. You can go and you can have a brilliant time. How am I going to do that? Have I ever broken a promise to you before? Have I? No. Right. Then I'm going to be here when you get back. I promise. Now go. Go!